The following podcast may contain spoilers, tonnage, graphic violence, and bat nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. I will bash them brutally. Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I try and rub at your review in movies for the show. Four guys and a movie. Hey everybody and welcome to this. The final episode of Superhero <laughs> Summer of the podcast. Yeah, the, but we are the four There's guys a turkey in the, and the dinner in the oven and cranberry sauce on the That's table. Right. Get your mashed potatoes out. It's Superhero Summer. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> lambs, hams, crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you name it! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, I but I want to be great. there. What is that from? <laughs> <laughs> you slam the ham, you tease the cheese, you leave room for shrooms, you finish with spinach. Look, Sharon got it, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that ever matters. Sharon's gonna get it. Uh I'm your host, Bat Rob. No, it brings back too many awful memories. Yeah. I'm just Rob uh to my left. Brian. The Wildler. <laughs> 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 Tony Croc. <laughs> a desiccated pile of sand that used to be Joe. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, let me get my hard water. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just have a hard water faucet right next to the drinking fountain? Oh, we it's, know why. It's, it's to recharge the batteries, Joe. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> to recharge our that batteries. I, didn't want, batteries. I wanted to wait on that, but it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but... Joseph, we have clearly labeled everything <laughs> meticulously. Just go ahead and throw that lever to heavy water. Like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lock on it. Anyway, so... <laughs> this is going to be a long one, hopefully not. Yeah, uh, so this is the last episode of Superhero Summer, as we did mention. But first, I want to make a quick shout out to our patrons. Thank you so much, guys. Uh... We really, I mean, I'm not, not going to lie. We could do this without you, but uh, it's a lot easier with you there. <laughs> wow. We appreciate you so we much. We really do. We genuinely do. And to everybody else, you're also awesome. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. We assume, uh, you know, endlessly superhero movies. <sighs> I think you just Wait. heard my soul die. <laughs> you're all fair. fairness. We did, we did this to ourselves. This is true. This is true. This is this was well, yes, because this started out as a lark. I was like, "Hey, let's do superhero movies because it's summer." And like, Endgame is coming out. Yeah, Endgame. Is, yeah, <laughs> hey, let's do some superhero that movies. Feels so long. Why ago. don't you all? Yeah. Why don't you all pick a superhero movie? <laughs> oh, what? You all picked the most awful ones you could think of, and then Great. we all got well, sick that, that and became a thing weeks. for some reason. <laughs> like, let's all pick the shitty ones. Yeah. I stand by Blink Man. I love that movie still. All right, so fuck y'all. Yeah. I fantastic. mean, honestly, I think it was my favorite of. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, wow. I think I I enjoyed uh, the Fantastic Four well enough. Anyway, yeah, I forgot this uh, this week was the Batman movie. No, not that one. Nope, not that one either. <laughs> not those either. <laughs> it was the Batman movie from 1966. The one DC doesn't talk about anymore. Well, there's a couple of those, I think, at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's most. <laughs> including, yeah, the ones that came out this past year. I think There most... were no bat nipples in this one, but there was a lot of bat balls. I mean... <laughs> bat, bat, bat thighs and no, bat no, bulge. No, 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 bat bulge. Bat bulge. Oh, lordy. Um, so, Tony, it's give just, us a little history on this movie. Just a bat sock in my <laughs> bat drawers. <laughs> I've got about a half bat roll of quarters. <laughs> I got about a half let old go, chum. Let it go. Let, let it go. Sorry. Let's get this going. Yeah, we've got in like five <laughs> minutes and we're already talking <laughs> is, about is bat that directions. Why, is that why the shark went after him? Yes. Uh, he had a little chum in his pants. <laughs> 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 Let's keep it going. Let's just let it just go. Read it. <laughs> Your dick gray song? All right. <laughs> so... <laughs> do, do, do you need me to read the paper, Tony? He, he <laughs> he's, he's not going to stop with the dick <laughs> he's stuff. Crying, like, 
<laughs> like, like something off with his tap. This was so. <laughs> this was rough. Directed by Leslie H. Martinson. Uh-huh. It's like an obituary. <laughs> 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 Every new eulogy. <laughs> um, he was. He's been a director for a long uh-huh. time with a bunch of movies you don't care about. Sure. Like uh, Hot Rod Girl and Black Gold. Ooh, wait, no, actually, it sounds amazing. <laughs> wait, uh, so is that the is that one movie? No, oh, <laughs> okay. two different movies. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> but uh, he also directed many episodes of things like Chips, right? Airwolf, yep. Different Strokes, oh, Airwolf, Manimal, and Ooh. Small Wonder. Oh yeah, as oh. well as Gary Coldman for safety's sake. It's an Is that a, a safety video? Yes. With Gary Coleman? For, yes. For children? Oh, I love it. It's debatable. <laughs> no, just for small people. <laughs> yeah. Like Small Wonder. Put me in a closet, parents, in your bedroom, <laughs> facing your bed. So, this movie was originally intended to be the pilot for the series. Yeah, it was. Um, what? Don't give me that look. Um, but it, it, there was production issues and delays and everything. And ultimately, the TV series finished prior to this. Uh, so they just kind of pushed it back, upped its budget, and made it into a movie. Why do you... Because it's that, bizarre. Like, no, it makes total sense. Because it puts... Introduces to introduces, all the, char- yeah. all the yeah. characters. Sort of. Um, it just feels like a long episode that went oh, yeah. twice too long. Yeah. <laughs> so, Had a lot definitely. of filler. Yeah, like a lot of filler. Not introduced all that. the vehicles and... Yeah. This well, is made sure. a, a half hour episode. Even. Skipped the origin story. Yes. Yeah, and no the pearls. pearl necklace. No Thankfully. <laughs> well, <laughs> Stop. Uh, Julie Newmar, who had been playing Catwoman in the first season of the show. Uh, I was Thanks too, for everything. Was uh, tied up with another project when she found out about this. And before she could make any changes to her schedule, they replaced her. Well, yeah. Um, with uh, Lee Merriweather, yes. was it? Right? Yeah. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald. Did her first appearance as Catwoman in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bat Boat was made especially for this by the Galston Boat Company mm. in Austin, Texas. Uh, they were able to do this for them on, on the, you know, uh, with an agreement that the first showing of this movie would be in Austin, Texas. At the Galston headquarters, hmm. but the uh, joke was on them. Yeah, but since Lee Harvey Oswald was playing Catwoman, they felt it would be in poor taste. Wow, it's going to make this even more awkward. <laughs> Look at um, that callback because of a shooting in Texas. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where a uh, student. Oh yeah, the tower. Yeah, yeah the tower shooting. Wow. Um. So <laughs> it was delayed a bit, but. Just goes to show you that it didn't start with the Dark Knight. <clears throat> Apparently, this uh, Batman franchise has had some issues for a while. Also, a bunch of stuntmen were hurt making this movie. Wow! All right, so are you okay there? Yeah, well, uh, do we do we have financials on this? Sort of. Um, too much and too much. Yeah, I, I I found some dicey information on both accounts of how much it costs, how much. Oh it made. shit! This was actually Ryan's got an oh, idea, man. No. What is that? The hell just happened? Uh, Kit, Kit Kat, Kat just got shoved right into a Twinkie. Is that <laughs> regular Kit Kat? Yep. Nice. Nice. How'd it work out? All right. Uh, all right, but just for the heck of it, if anyone wants to guess how much money this movie costs to make. Was this theatrically released? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, would it even be a million dollars? Like, Yeah, I don't know how... <sighs> I, I mean, so go with a million. See they bumped up me? the budget because the show had, and the show was popular. I'm going to say three million dollars. A million? No, nine hundred thousand dollars. I'm going to say a million and one dollar. God damn you two! <laughs> You're screwing me. Leprechaun yeah. money over here. <laughs> we'll just edge out. Uh, one million four hundred. He'll do er, that. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred dollars. Well, that's pretty good at edging. <laughs> Oh, I'll All see right. Will in the parking lot <laughs> for some edging. What one way or another, I'm getting uh, satisfaction. <laughs> and oddly enough, it only cost you that one dollar. Mm-hmm. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Anyone want to guess how much it made? I'm gonna say three million again. I'm gonna say nine hundred thousand dollars. Whatever Will says, plus a dollar. <laughs> Two million. 
That was a bad move there, Joe. <laughs> it was one million seven hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! Again, made his money back, kind of. Yeah, sort again, of. that is somewhat debatable because finding information on this movie uh, was not very easy. Um, and there are a couple of different sources that argued with each other mm, on so, the internet. Yeah, Brian, what's your history with this movie? Um, so I know I've seen it um, as a kid because this was on like. TV more than more than once, whatever. Yeah. Um, I used to watch shows a lot as a kid, mm-hmm. but I don't remember the shit from the show, mm-hmm. and I don't remember this. Like, I thought I remember the movie, but I didn't at all. But I know it's, you know, like, I know for a fact I've seen the movie. This was like a Nick at Night staple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel yeah. like this was on uh, that a lot, and that's that's my TNT history too. Like I've seen it on Nick at Night. I'm yeah. sure. My yeah. dad. I remember my dad rented it one time, and the only thing I remembered was the shark scene. Mm-hmm. And I, but I thought that was what, like near the climax, like way later, and the intro where it's like the spotlight, you know, mm-hmm. showing the uh, introducing all the actors and characters. But I okay. thought that was, you know, you make up these fake memories where it was like they were escaping prison, and like the spotlight was like the prison spotlight showing mm-hmm. shining on them and like introducing them. Hmm. But hmm. that actually really makes sense. So. That doesn't make sense. That would have been a better plan actually for this movie. <laughs> Tony's your history pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, just like I. I Parts of it I remember the definitely the uh the shark scene, the the uh council, world council, whatever oh, that was. Know, yeah. That uh, you know, those I remember very vividly, but the actual makeup of the movie I like I like Will was talking about I thought the shark thing was at the end. Yeah, me too. Like I, I also kinda I kinda thought the octopus was actually seen. Although in my head it is just straight up the one from Ed Wood, so oh, probably no. not. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've never seen Ed Wood. Oh, yeah. Never seen it. No, he's oh. never seen it. Oh, oh okay. Knows that. I, I don't know. Basically, it means so someone know. fighting with a pool floater. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, have you ever seen the movies? No, probably not either. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Maybe we'll do it someday. Joe. Um, I remembered the the shark, and I remember seeing the umbrellas, but I never had the strength to sit through this entire film. So yeah. I had no idea like when anything <clears throat> fell in relation to anything else. Um, so yeah, I, I like I know I've seen probably all of the individual components of it over the years, but I've never sat through the whole thing. Yeah, that is an interesting thing. I'm I can't be certain I actually sat through this whole thing before because I remember so many small parts of it, but not enough of the whole movie yeah. that I wonder if I've ever actually watched it all the way through no, I, until now. I remember, like, the Tim Burton Batman was my introduction to Batman, mm. so, oh. like, Whoa. yeah, you're not going, like, <laughs> you can't go back and watch this, like, no. you know, after you've seen that when you're a little kid. I feel that I probably was playing with my toys mm. while the movie was on. Like, your super friends? Well, that's the Batman. thing. They were, I think I had Aquaman, and yeah. I had, Kiki like, feet? Penguin... You know, I had like not Batman stuff. Whatever was on clearance yeah. At, yeah. at Child World. Good old Child so, World. <laughs> before we get into Batman proper, Brian, what would you have for lunch today? Oh, I had a bunch of Chinese food. How was it? It was delicious. What, what kind of Chinese did you go? Because I know you like variety in your Chinese food. I mean, I, I get my old staple, sweet and sour chicken. It's my mm-hmm. staple, but I got bonus berries today, too. Nice. Like, uh, yeah. Nice, Tony. Uh, how about you? I had Chinese food as well. It was yeah. good. What'd you get? What kind? Channel Tao's chicken. Okay. How was it? Pretty yeah. good. Good. Yeah. All right. Joe, did you have time for lunch today? Yes. Okay. What'd you What'd you get? I had a veggie burger club sandwich from a diner. Oh. Okay. Fries. Yeah. yeah fries too, nice. and a pickle. How are those fries? Coleslaw. Flag in the field. Flag in the field. What? Club sandwich is baking on it. Yeah, I told him not to put it on there. It's not club sandwich. Well, how it, wait? So how is it a veggie? Wait, 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 wait. wait. So how, how is it advertised? Oh no, I have to tell them to make it. Like they don't. It's not on the menu. Okay, so you're just like he ordered a sandwich. It's just, just a little <laughs> secret menu. Secret menu at the diner. Tony, we have to pretend to give vegetarians their proper due. I mean, no, we don't. I didn't mean to say pretend. Wow. <laughs> Will that was hurtful on purpose. That's messed up. It was not mm-hmm. hurtful on purpose. Well, let's talk about I, what we get no, for lunch. See, this whole thing is... <laughs> this whole thing is we, on purpose, I know. We, we, yeah. have a, we have a new segment just to pad time onto this already way too long podcast, because yeah. Rob wants to gripe about what he ate for lunch. <laughs> Continue, no, Will. It's because he knows what bothers you. That's yeah, that's <laughs> literally the only reason no, why he's doing it. Because, because fat chat is an integral part 
of this podcast, and I'm trying to keep it contained and organized. That's not how Fat Chat works. Yeah, we just had Fat Chat. He put a, t- a Kit Kat. He put a Tic Tac. He's yeah. Twinkie. All right. Well, let's talk about let's talk about our lunch so today. After all the hype, I finally Will found and I, myself with the time and the place to try the Popeyes chicken sandwich. Yes, yeah, so we had some Popeyes chicken Both sandwiches. Both the regular today. and the spicy. Yeah, and I was pretty underwhelmed. <clears throat> yeah, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. But I, I felt I will bad say, for cheating on my girl Wendy. This is the yeah. This is the second time that I've made the foray, and I have to say the first time was a lot better. Is that before they ran out? It was after they ran out. Oh. This was yeah, just a couple of, day, uh, <laughs> a couple of days, a couple of hours ago. <laughs> no, this is like a week or so ago. <clears throat> um, I feel this time uh, it was maybe not as fresh as the first time. Like the first time I went, there was nobody else there at the restaurant. I was literally the only person in line, or there was nobody in the dining room either. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like the because of that, the sandwich was made on the spot. It took a long time to come out, and when I got home, it was like crispy. It was really good. All the same things he said later on. (laughs) What? (laughs) It took a long time to come out. It was crispy. Oh, yeah. No, it did not take long at all. It was not crispy. (laughs) Um, It's a poop joke. Yeah, it's a poop joke. Shot shot out like little Robin's uh, (laughs) robin, Cadbury Robin eggs. The fuck was the point of that? <laughs> Let's separate. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk separate. about that later. <laughs> we'll that I thought something crap. different was going to happen. Um, but this time, I feel like I feel like the sandwiches were maybe sitting around a little bit because they weren't <laughs> they weren't as crispy. Like the chicken <clears throat> was, was the chicken was good. The it chicken didn't itself have a lot of is really good. The spicy chicken sandwiches. It's not spicy. It just has spicy mayonnaise on it. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it, everybody. I'm still make mine Wendy's. Yeah, make, Thank you. make Wendy's great again. This is been... right, since since we're talking about chicken though, <clears throat> and Shit. I don't know, you know, any what a where is? the tears are here. <clears throat> All right, where in, does in Chick Fil A usually fit into the chicken sandwich? Based tiers? based off what I had today, Chick Fil A would outrank second behind Wendy's. Yeah, behind for, Wendy's for me too. Yeah. All right, I'll not only there. Because every yeah, like, everyone talks about Chick Fil A like it's this amazing thing. It's really like, good. It is really good. Like, it's, is the eh. is the support for the bigotry really worth like? I got some bad opinion, news for you, Joe. What's that? There, uh, every single company supports bigotry in one way or another. Yeah, but not that flagrantly. <laughs> not flagrantly. <laughs> no, Chick Fil A is just like like here we are. Yeah. They're just upfront and honest. Yeah, about yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> McDonald's is secretly funding like military. <laughs> McDonald's is funding yeah. military coups across yeah. the world. <laughs> yeah. You just never hear about it. <laughs> yeah, like fucking, you know, at least act like you're doing something good. Yeah, they're all terrible. I and mean, all the sayings you want on the cups just don't, you know, support protests and whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm just answering the question as it was asked. Yeah, uh, Chick Fil A yeah. makes a really good chicken sandwich. I like Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich best of all. And their nuggets are and their nuggets great. are top notch. Their fries are great. You, you can't will. beat a frosty when you, you enjoy need my it. nuggets. Wendy's sponsor us, Wendy's. Sponsor yes, us. Wendy's, come on. A frosty. I had my wisdom teeth out a few weeks ago and the it first was, thing I ate was a frosty afterwards and it was like heaven. Yeah, Wendy's make make some sort of vegetarian option. Because I only got Burger King now. They do. It's called the baked yeah, potato. <laughs> no, the baked potato is... <laughs> they that's serve Caesar salad. <laughs> sad. Probably has no. chicken get, in it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, get yourself a veggie burger like Burger King. I want to I wanna go back to fast food restaurants. You should. And you know what? Honestly... It's happening. Good yeah. job, Burger King, for jumping on that. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, I'm still not going to go there. Because I'm not a vegetarian and everything else yeah. on the menu is terrible. <laughs> Burger King is not bad. I don't know why y'all bash it so it's much. It's like the last the three drink. times. <laughs> yeah, the last three. The last, so, <laughs> the last, <laughs> yeah. last three times I got it. It was not good. It was not but, good. Uh, for those who weren't aware. Dunkin but I didn't Donuts get a Whopper. Now. Maybe that's the problem. I didn't even get a Whopper. Mm. Dunkin' Donuts yeah. now has a vegetarian option I for don't. some kind of sauce. Nobody <laughs> Sandwich, some kind of sausage. Sandwich. Is that what the name of it? Just, it's yeah. just some kind of sausage. <laughs> question mark. The Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> some kind of sausage. Vegetarian friendly? Question mark. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. 
That's, that's Sharon actually sang this on our wedding night too. <laughs> I think it was more like yeah, that that's, yeah, that's, that's some kind of so something. Good. No, yeah. it was it was more like no, it was more. <laughs> I mean, I, I said I do, so I guess it's my yeah. Like, yeah. Oops. I said I do. Like, Whoops! Yeah. <laughs> it's almost pizza <laughs> to have it to hold. <laughs> well, not to hold. Anyway. <laughs> to, ha- to have it a distance. <laughs> no, it's more like uh, it was more like a Wendy's commercial. <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> So like we should start this movie for real. Yep. Now. So this movie starts out. Do we want to talk about the cast? Uh, I guess. Go ahead, right. Joe. <laughs> Got fucking weird ass Adam West as Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Weird ass deceased Adam West. Yeah. Burt Ward as Robin slash Dick Grayson. Weird ass probably deceased. No, Bert. no, Burt Ward is, is wishing he was deceased. <laughs> probably. probably. In, in nursing well, home I mean, he successfully pulled off acting, acting like a person, which was a rarity in this film. Did like a jealous did, lover. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Acting like a person. <laughs> yeah. We leave Merriweather as the Catwoman slash Kitka. Yeah. Caesar Romero as the Joker. Speaking of Kitka. Burgess Meredith, who I had no idea actually played the Penguin. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. You just thought he was I mean, the dude from Rocky? Yeah, I just thought he taught me to eat lightning and crap thunder. I just thought, he was, the guy, I just thought he was the guy from Santa Claus the movie. Yeah. Um, Frank Gorshin as the Riddler. Alan Napier yeah. as Alfred. And Neil Hamilton as Commissioner Gordon. Did you say Caesar Romero? Yeah, you did. I did say Caesar. Oh, Romero. I missed it. All right, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry you're sorry. talking about Kit Kats. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it was There's right after more. I said Kit Kat, and you were like subconsciously <laughs> like Kit Kat. <laughs> what digging in? Um, There's pumpkins. way more in this movie, but they don't even get mentioned in the credits. No. At the end of the credits, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fuck them. Like, you don't exist. <laughs> like the pirate goons get mentioned in the credits. Yo ho, <laughs> yo ho, what? <laughs> Get me a sandwich. But this movie starts out letting you know off the bat that it is ridiculous. Yeah, it tells you what well, you're in for. It literally says like this movie is ridiculous. It's made for people who enjoy enjoy that stuff. Which well, I, I should say it has the old school opening credits that take forever and are the entire credits because mm. it has like the end credits where it's just like these are the people that are in the movie. It's over. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think they had more. Actors listed at the beginning of the movie than they did at the end. They probably well, did. Some of them died during production. <laughs> but it was also like, but as Brian was saying, it was like, this is for people that love crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, I wish Batman and Robin had that same like <laughs> nah, yeah. intro. That was what I was thinking. So, like, hey, if you like Batman, this might not be nipples. a film for you. <laughs> I <laughs> argue it did. Because I think we were like five minutes into Batman and Robin before Never we got seen like twenty six ice puns. Never so. seen it. Why would you? Arnold? You've seen it. You're never seen it. I, I don't Someone believe that. that yeah, I, I call, do not believe I call that. Shenanigans. Never, seen it. never seen it. Never seen it. Not no, even riff track. Not even riff track. It's the worst guy ever thing in the world. It is. Oh. It's the well, closest I've come. I've started it and then I immediately shut no, it off. Cr- I was like, Crystal I Skull hurt more. But I've not seen that one. I refuse yeah. to. But it's, I've seen Crystal Skull. It's Chris- pretty damn more bad. than no, once. it hurt way more than I Crystal Skull for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah See, because because Batman's not as important to me. Like mm. Indiana Jones, I, I had fond memories of. But it's not even that, like yeah. Crystal Skull. I feel like remove a few things that might still work. Batman and Robin is just garbage from second one of film. Well, but Crystal Skull shattered. The myth that like everything in Indiana Jones was awesome because then I went back and like, uh, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom have... also shattered that. Well, see, Temple nope. of Doom was fondly in know. my memories, yeah. and then Crystal Skull made me look at like were the other movies bad, and then mm-hmm. I went back. And I'm no, like, oh, just that Temple one. Temple of Doom wasn't <laughs> that good. Mm. Well, I still yeah. enjoy yeah. Temple of Doom. Well, yeah, it, it's all right. It has problems, but we'll it's, save that for another yeah, podcast. So for relatively soon yeah thank you brian Spoiler i appreciate alert. the vote of confidence shut up george i will not <laughs> george all right, all right so back to this movie don't so, stop talking i will render you <laughs> limb from limb <laughs> <laughs> so um we learned about some sort of yacht is bringing some sort of science to gotham city yeah mm-hmm. yes and it's uh, in some sort of danger Vague as hell with all of this. <laughs> yeah. So, like, Batman and Robin are, you know, around the scene, but it's, uh, they, 
it's right now it's Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. Well, Bruce Wayne is is a millionaire. Yep, he has a, a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Which oh back then is an impressive amount of money. <laughs> sure. Him and Dick were out yachting, yeah. and it's impressive Dude, enough that the uh, Gotham he, Lawn Club he has to rent uh, rent space for the Batcopter at a local air. Airfield. Yeah, so <laughs> fucking all right. First off, they go into the mansion, they, like pull the head back on a statue to trigger the secret door. A Shakespeare statue. Like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I don't need to see it five times in the goddamn film. Yeah, like me and like, my wife started watching the Voltron show, yeah. and every got every goddamn episode they have to take twenty seconds to show Voltron, Voltron form, and I'm like, yeah. my wife loves it, which is fine. But I'm just like, a, why? We'll explain why? to you how anime works yeah. after the episode. Well, it, <laughs> the one with that was always the Power Rangers, where I'm like, the monsters like right there while you're forming. Yeah, yeah why can't like, it just fuck you? I up would just while like form take one of your legs. You know, yeah. like this one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not yeah. forming with. It's not working. I, I yeah. believe in that Voltron show. At one point, they just they, like the monsters like no. <laughs> it's, it's like, like no. Don't that makes that. sense. I do <laughs> believe they eventually actually do address that fact. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, good so show though. They get to the Batmobile and. This this is uh, quite a departure from the you know more modern Dark Knight style Batman character because he just calls the airport and is like get the Batcopter ready <laughs> yeah more so than any other Batman property I've ever seen yeah. by, by on this one Batman is on the side of like the police and yeah. so, and he's like he's and, and society is like yeah pro Batman everyone fully supports this man in all of his endeavors the, yeah. the police. Council? I don't know who the hell these people were, but they stopped to uh, like salute the Batcopter as they <laughs> yeah. went overhead. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Took their hats off as a sign of respect. Everything in the Batcave is labeled, mm-hmm. up to and including like when the when the bookcase opens when you hit the switch to get the bat poles. It says there's a giant sign that says "Bat Poles Leading to the Batcave." And then there's a. Mm. Uh, Instant chain, uh, change yeah. costume, costume change lever. So if you so, walk in there, if you walk into the Wayne Manor Library, you see a William Shakespeare bust with a big ass hinge on the back of the neck. <laughs> 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 You're like, <laughs> what is this? Uh, do I open this up and press this button? And no, the, a- Alfred's the, murdered you by this the point. Sex like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Alfred. I, is this the same Alfred from the from the, the show too? I, I so, don't yeah. remember him being that tall. I have no mm. idea. Because Adam West is tall as it is. And this guy is like towers over Adam yeah. West. I think it's the same gentleman, but I could, I do not honestly remember off the top of my head. Well, I mean, he took down a predator. Yep. And so, we also, what was, Aunt Harriet made a quick appearance. Mm-hmm. Everybody's Harriet? favorite from the show. Did she? Don't yeah. even remember her. She was just on the lawn. Uh, she didn't even get to say a word. <laughs> so yeah, we see the Batmobile and we see the Batcop. Uh, Batcopters waiting at the airport, and you see, like, not quite Birdemic bad, but it's, like, pretty much every stage of this journey, you, oh, yeah. you get to see the whole thing. <laughs> um, the positive that I will give this is the Batcopter and the Batmobile are actual vehicles that actually work. Yes. Yeah. And look to be, like, reasonable pieces of machinery. Sure. The Batcopter, I mean, it looks like a <laughs> 1960s helicopter, and I don't know what those wings Giant are Giant ass wings. They're, but they're like for you know for wind, I believe for speed to blow it all over the damn place. Yeah, yeah but I believe that that craft can fly. <laughs> That's fair, and I understand the components on it. Not only can it, it still yeah. does to this day. Indeed, at, uh, air shows. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh, cool. And now, now what for this? I do like Sorry. how they just left the Batmobile at the airfield yeah. and they took the backup. Yeah, after. positive for this. Um, that, they didn't even lock it. That straight no. up did take off. So that was two pilots. <laughs> That got to or had to wear these Batman costumes <laughs> and get in this helicopter and fly it away. You couldn't yeah. pay them to take those off. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Either you made someone's day or you made someone yeah. humiliated. Either way, I think that's a positive. So, <laughs> so you, you learn quickly um, that this really is a half hour long episode that they had to make. Yeah, yeah. Because everything takes forever. Well, not a half hour episode, well, but yeah, yeah, it's it's not. They had to pad time. It was it was maybe a cliffhanger episode that they then padded out. Yeah, yeah. every every little thing. I'm doing this now, Robin. Yep. And then they have to like wait for that to happen. Now I'll so, do this one next. We're we're flying around and um, 
So like we fly over a random bikini party. Why not? Yeah, Just on yeah. the roof. Sure. That's cool with that, man. Yeah. Um, I guess that happened in the 60s. Mm. Very different Gotham yeah. than uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. animated series yeah. world. And so, the modern DCU where it rains all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, like everything has bad on it. He deploys the bat ladder to get on this yacht. And it's labeled. <laughs> that is labeled. Yeah. Little, that is labeled. Little tag on the bottom of it. Bat just ladder. in case you weren't sure. Yeah. Like, what? Is um, that even visible when it's rolled up? Like, now this yacht is not like a drift. This yacht is moving at a pretty good clip. Yeah, it's tooling. Yeah, for sure. Which is weird because it then suddenly disappears, and when we get the explanation for why it disappears, it makes no goddamn sense. Zero yeah. sense. No, but anyway, uh, you know, most of the so, movie doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> here's where the movie's just like, we're gonna throw a lot of bullshit at you guys because the yacht just disappears, and then Robin, I guess, just forgets how to fly the helicopter because he just dunks Batman in the water. Well, no, he was going into. <laughs> Put him on the yacht, but the yacht disappeared. But was he going to, like, go until he heard Batman collide with the boat? (laughs) Yes! Was that his method? He was waiting for that that sweet sound of cracking knees. (laughs) Um, So, (laughs) all right, so Batman's like, bring her back up. And when he does, there's a goddamn shark (laughs) just hanging (laughs) off his leg. Well, (laughs) by shark, you mean a rubber puppet. A sock. Inflatable. (laughs) Basically a pool toy. Yeah, Yeah. a pool toy roughly shaped like a shark. (laughs) He's beating this shark for a solid three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And you can tell tell it's waterlogged when they pull him up because it's like, it's peeing. (laughs) Water is shooting out of it. So, uncontrollably. Fat chat honorary mention. This shark is determined. <laughs> He's like, sooner or later, you son of a bitch, you're falling off this ladder. And I'm just going to hang on. Well, like, there's no blood. Yeah. Nothing. Like, his leg would be shredded. Yeah. It'd be Bat- gone. Yeah. Batman's landing like three hit combos well, on yeah, this thing. Th- I also wanted to mention that. They, like, speaking of Indiana Jones, the very mm. thick, like, pow yes. sounds. Yeah. Every boom, time he hit boom. the shark in the face. Um, oh, that w- yeah, and so no one gives a fuck. The shark doesn't care that's getting punched. Nope. Batman doesn't really care that the shark's gnawing on him. Robin's <laughs> just like, oh, I guess I got to go save Batman now. <clears throat> and just leisurely climbs down this ladder. <laughs> well, leis- I mean, <laughs> leisurely or like sensually super fearful of death well yeah. i mean the impressive part is this is an actual man hanging out of an actual helicopter <laughs> yes, flying uh, yeah. over the ocean so yeah you know he, he he took his time but so he gets down there and he does this like upside so first of all <clears throat> he's getting, was an acrobat yeah. he's getting the <laughs> sh- bat shark repellent yep. spray that they keep on the helicopter not the bat manta ray repellent no which is weird that, because that whale yeah, that, yeah. the whale was my favorite. What whales attack them? <laughs> Killer, Killer whales. Whale. Killer. <laughs> I guess. So like this helicopter has only aquatic animal repellent, apparently. Well, no, because he had a crew get it ready, so he has a loadout for seaborne I missions. See. So oh. the crew has access to the oh. bat cave, presumably. Well, no, he yeah, leaves just, that stuff yeah, at the hangar. Oh, he's just got, he's got a, a, the the bat bat crew. He's got yeah. an annex hangar for yeah. just his stuff. All right, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so Robin comes down. He does this upside down hang <laughs> so he could do the, the Spider-Man kiss with Batman. <laughs> oh, what a quick thing. I thought the manta ray spray said Batmanity spray. That would be great if they pull up it's, it's a manatee hanging yeah. off of his leg. <laughs> I'm a sea cow. <laughs> He's just gumming on his leg. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway. something on his leg. <laughs> so the Continue. spray makes the shark let go. Yeah. Yeah. And explode. <laughs> and upon hitting the water, yes, it Immediately. explodes. That's not the first thing. In this, I mean, that's not the last thing in this movie that will explode upon contact in with a, the water. In a smile, you son of a bitch-esque yeah. <laughs> spray of chunks and blood. So... <laughs> I want to know, what point did this movie lose, you guys? Uh, or at least did you say, okay, we're in for something here? I mean, that was pretty much the beginning. Like, yeah. the minute I saw him pull up at an airport to get yeah. into the Batcopter, I was like, all right. This is different. <laughs> this, yeah. is, uh, this is what we got. Yeah. See, it's a little different because we're going in knowing it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. True. So, like, it, it never had me to lose. <laughs> right. It's not like, yeah. yes. Yeah, 
That's pretty much it. It's like you pretty much know what you're in for. You have to keep reminding yourself this was a different time. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's it's not the Nolan trilogy. I, just, I yeah. know for my well, we'll get into that. That's about, uh, that's as goofy in my opinion, but uh, but like it literally, I I think it was when he pulled up to the airport to swap out for the helicopter. I was just like, I'm not taking notes. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, just, yeah that's I fair. never take notes. I've actually mm. taken more notes on this than I have in a while. Yeah, there's a lot to discuss. There's a lot to remember. All right. Yeah, a lot of little so, funny details. Yeah. Um, we just immediately cut to a press conference. Batman's fine. Yep. So, yeah, whatever. Shark can't chew through the bat suit, I guess. No. Um, it, as pointed out, his boots were barely even wet. Yeah. While well, they were inside the shark. Just mm. <laughs> them dry. So they're just having a press conference with reporters. I'm like, Batman doesn't do that. This one does. This yeah, one does. Yeah. Very Blue Lives Matter. Um, <laughs> he's like Gamera. He's his friend to children. Yeah. And- <laughs> um, Loves the police. Yeah, Everybody and this is when that, man. like um there's a Russian reporter named reporter named Kitka who's just, you know, talking shade at him, talking about removing their masks and whatever. Like and that honestly like that's one of the best parts of the movie for me. Mm. The only is how 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 wild it is. She's asking questions, he's like, I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. She goes, all right, well, then, like, just take off your mask and get a picture. And, like, it was so nonchalant. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, How about you uh, take off stupid mask, eh? Show, like, show face. It, it, it almost worked. I'd be like, he was like, oh, well, okay, it makes sense. Like, like, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I honestly, I was hoping, because everyone was, like, so aghast and, like, how, how uh, you can't, you? yeah, how dare you ask Batman so, to do that? But it, I was hoping he would be like, oh, well, nobody actually asked us to do that. Yeah, sure. Well, if, if it didn't take, you know, um, Batman in this movie to like 10 seconds to before he does any kind of movement, <laughs> you know, he probably would have. Yeah. But his brain was like, wait it's, a yeah. minute. That's actually Almost not a bad idea. Oh, wait. It's like, oh, the Commissioner Gordon's all taken back. He's like, how could they fight crime? They're, Without those yeah. masks. They're, they're not, fully they're deputized members of our force. The super and Irish police We don't chief. even know who they <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't check their credentials. Yeah. They're in marginally better shape than us. What do you think we are, the Navy? Yeah. I don't I don't even Holy know Navy. myself who this man is, but I did give him a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he is allowed to what jail Navy people at his yeah. <laughs> All right. So, now, you know... After the press conference, now they're talking about super criminals. And I'm like, I didn't know super criminals were a thing. I mean, I guess they're superheroes. Why mm-hmm. aren't they super criminals? Yeah. Super villains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so, super villains. Um, and here's where some real bullshit starts. Yeah. So we get the roster of currently loose super criminals. Should we get the Penguin, the Joker, the Riddler, and Catwoman? And I can't remember all of the bullshit that happens here with this. Somehow they're talking about a riddle. Oh, because yeah. they went to the sea. C is for Catwoman. Oh, yeah. they're, detec- they're detective work, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so I wrote World's Greatest Detective. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, um, yeah, we got, uh, we're at the C, and C stands for cat. We have a fish, and where there's fish, there's penguins. Yeah. And it had teeth so it could smile, so the Joker. Like, it's <laughs> yeah, the most it was, nonsensical bullshit. It was ridiculous. It didn't make any sense. And that's not the first time And, and, and they like, commit to it like it's fact. Yeah. Like, like everyone... Just takes it as gospel yeah. as soon as they Listeners say Listeners at home, if you would like an adorable penguin, simply just leave fish around. Yeah. <laughs> but also what like, you gotta do? Like, mm. again, five also different times. if you'd like an adorable Heathcliff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> five or different, an adorable sticky car. <laughs> <laughs> five different times we need to establish, or five at times. least speculate. Five times. <laughs> At least speculate that there's that all these criminals are working together. <laughs> I can't get through this if you keep doing. It. <laughs> no, he's out. He's out of ammo. Finish your thought. <clears throat> but yeah, we, we just, actually that was pretty much it. Just so okay. we keep going, like you know, like mm-hmm. I can't believe it. Like this could be all of them working together. Oh, and because they're all working together, they have to be after the whole world. Oh right. yeah, one of yeah, one yeah. of them would be after like well, a city. Plus, yeah, one yeah. plus one equals two, Joe. If it were yeah. if it were three, I would say yeah, maybe just a country or you know large large business like district. Like he's got some handy chart. Like how many for the solar system? Like Kitka, is that you? So anyway, um, yeah, we cut to Kitka, who's going back to the uh, United Underworld, which is hanging out at the Benbow Tavern. Lords of the Underworld. 
underworld. <laughs> um, and where we find out that that shark was trained by Penguin. Yeah. And mm-hmm. also was set to explode. By well, the Joker. It was apparently. trained by Penguin and then stuffed with the the Joker TNT. shoved a bomb in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a little something Joker would do. I mean, I believe that both of those things would happen, but it's like, why didn't you just have one with a remote detonator or, you know... Or a gun or to ju- shoot Batman. Yeah, just have just a shark with a gun. Yeah. Shark with, shark with freaking lasers on its head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, um, can we talk about that mustache? <laughs> let's talk about that mustache. <laughs> I didn't realize that his that uh, Joker had a mustache. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Until they kept zooming on his face. Yes. Oh, yeah. Painted Here's right the deal, over that though. shit. Yeah. Here's the deal, though. Yeah, you see that, DC? Yeah. Just use makeup next it's, time. It was... <laughs> I was, I was about to say the same it's thing. It still works better. Legit, it works legit better than Henry Cavill <laughs> in Justice League or whatever that movie was. <laughs> Mustache gate. Just a little clown white <laughs> was all they needed. All right, so, yeah. Modern day Joker ain't your grandpa's Joker. <laughs> well, it is, actually. Literally, yeah. it's not. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, like, these, like, the Riddler is just useless. I don't know. These villains are they're well, they're kind of lacking. No, the Joker is useless, and the Riddler is the Joker. Yes. Yeah, that's how this movie was set up. Mm-hmm. The yeah, Joker the, wasn't Joker enough. The Penguin is the real brains behind it all, and Catwoman's the only one that actually gets something done. Well, the Penguin has like he's Sometimes. got goons, he's got a vehicle, he's yeah. got mm. you know all these crazy weapons and stuff. He's got a trained exploding shark and octopus. Yep. Joker's like I got a jack in the box. Riddler's like. I'll, I'll tell them where we are. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep me, telling them our plans. Let me fire I, some heavy rockets into the air. Yeah. I honestly think oh. they were just like, all right, we, we need to get some people together who, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm Penguin. I got, I got, I got goons. I got vehicles, whatever. Catwoman, you, you can be stealthy. We'll bring you in and. You got a cat. Joker's yeah, got dynamite. Yeah. I guess we'll invite him. <laughs> like, yeah. that, that seems to be about it. Yes. Kind of scary is, looking. He's the killer croc. So he's got explosives. Yeah. So they and then Captain Boomerang, I guess, because <laughs> yeah. you know. and Slipknot. Everybody El loves Slipknot. <laughs> so they've captured this guy named Commodore Schmidlap, <laughs> and they still have him thinking that he's on a boat for reasons. He's a fucking moron. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I want to know the story. We're going to say that this. sentence a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know dr- the story behind this. Are they drugging what? him or? I, I, no, this is the story no. I want to know. I thought that's what was in the tea was like drug tea. We'll sometimes that would make more sense. We'll say yes. Well, sometimes they did drug him to take him places, but he, like he's he orders a tea and just the Joker brings it to Brings him. him, and he's just like, "You're kind of pale, son. What's <laughs> up with that?" And he's like, ah. "He's like, I'm the goddamn I'm Joker." Have, he's like, "I've got plenty of time to catch up on my Dickens," and the Joker's like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of jokery. Yeah. Joker's freaking looking like old Greg. I mean, he'd probably run into that out and see. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's blasting him with a flashlight on his crotch. <laughs> You've seen so, me. <laughs> glimpse so, of my downstairs mix up. Now they're like, all right, check it out. We got a submarine. Let's uh, freaking get in it. And, you know, because Batman's going to go after our buoy. Yeah. So. Sure enough, Batman our is buoy. <laughs> going after their illegal projection buoy because sure. they they figured out since the thing the boat disappeared, uh, it's got to be like just a a hologram or something. Yeah, and how did they find the buoy? I don't even remember the, the, the picture the, of the it. The magnifying glass. The, that only oh. that was not labeled Bat something other. It was yeah, just it was just, it, but it was still labeled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Magnifying yeah. Glass. as if you couldn't tell because it was a giant magnifying glass. You know, I'm just happy he didn't say enhance. At yeah. the, the person <laughs> operating the, he, the monitor. Enhanced. If he had, if Actually, the technology he did, was there, he's he like Robin and Hans. That's he true. Him. He did take yeah. it from Robin and put it under the. Look, yeah. whoop, magnified. <laughs> that makes more technology. sense than just saying enhance. <laughs> the picture becomes. He also, he also held the photo up for Robin and pull it away and do one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. What you, Okay. No one saw that. No, Tony, no. Tony, Tony pulled down his pants. <laughs> he, uh, people really, figured out. Uh, you know, it's, it was hairier than I imagined. But 
So Yo, y'all watch Big Mouth yet? The new no, season? no, I'm not going to watch Big Mouth. I'm sorry. So I'm not either. I'm behind. Um, okay. So this scene I honestly liked, though, of them just driving the Batmobile to a pier and they get on the bat boat and it's just like two guys like like dr- running down a pier jumping over yeah. shit and like was, getting on a boat and drive off i'm like pra- this looks like it having was practical a good time. you know <laughs> it's like it's it was a one long hour take. trip two hour trip to the public marina yep. to go get the bat boat <laughs> no this it's batman's loved by everyone like, he could just store his shit wherever he wants true. master wayne like, the like dues are do simple. the dues yeah. for the b- the boat and the helicopter <laughs> storage are coming up yeah. i mean I'll, damn it i'm only a millionaire <laughs> i will say this though like well presumably wayne manor is next to the ocean like it always did bug me that like the bat plane, bat copter, whatever. I'm like, where are you? you have a bat cave, but you just fly the fucking plane in there? Like, how does that work? Yeah. Where are you yeah. landing? It's stupid. Yeah. Like, well, his, this his, actually it works <coughs> better. I mean, his plane had, had he could hover all sort of shit. So, yeah, his yeah. plane had a giant pair of scissors. <clears throat> yeah, it did. Yep. It was amazing. Yep. Shut your anyway damn for balloons mouth. for balloons. Yeah. <laughs> And seagulls. And kite man. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes you gotta catch him right in those little horns and cut that dude in half. <laughs> so anyway, um <laughs> send arterial spray mm-hmm. down on the crab below. <laughs> so we we cut to uh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're on the buoy, they climb aboard that motherfucker. Yep. Then we cut to the penguin sub and <laughs> Cut me, cut me, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Burgess Meredith is just going nuts over here, making all kinds of weird noises. Um, he had a lot like, of like props to keep track of. He had his yeah. monocle mm-hmm. that, like, you could tell in some shots, was like sideways, <laughs> and then he had his little cigarette like mm-hmm. smoker yeah. thing, yeah, and physical. openly smoking like there's no tomorrow. Had a giant ass prosthetic nose, I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Off in a top hat and, and an yeah. umbrella. A lot of stuff going. See. A lot of stuff to handle. Plus, he's quoting like. You know, uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Literary pieces. His, his Dickens? <laughs> he's quoting his Dickens. He's quoting stuff. Yeah. He's quoting that. Right. So <laughs> he's throwing like, quotes out. Just like we do here on the 4 a.m. podcast. He's quoting um, stuff. Um, you know, I can't think. We're, Dick- <laughs> we're Dickensing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. No, like, Penguin's like 66% of this superhero's team. He's like, the only one trying. Yeah. Bottom line. Well, no. Got his Joker's like, hey, I'll operate the torpedo tubes. Yeah. But, like, Joker sucks he's just a guy that wants to push the button and say he did it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Penguin has a submarine. Yep. And it's not just, you know, any old submarine. Okay. It has little flippers instead of propellers. <laughs> right. It's um, adorable. Yeah. It's got a little penguin head on the per- periscope. <laughs> yes. It's. Adorable, yeah. Which with, is with a with with a with a pink pirate flag. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pink pirate flag. A yep. bright ass orange beak, so that your periscope is easily identifiable right. when it's out of the water. Um, and yeah, so they're like, let's just fire some torpedoes at this buoy. Not a bad plan. No. Um, and they also uh, turn on the magnet that's hidden on the buoy, right? Which locks Batman and Robin in place. We knew oh, enough no. to have a magnet on there. But not enough to make it have explosives like the shark. Right, yeah. Does it explode? Right. right. Oh, no, Robin. So now, we're going to have to take off our belts. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Batman and Robin are stuck to this buoy, which really gives you a chance to see the outline of their penises. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's great. The ambiguously gay duo. There's nothing uh, ambiguous about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh my God, do we get some bullshit here. Some bullshit. So... <laughs> Torpedoes are coming in, and Batman's like, I got a thing, and I'll, you know, invert the energy, and the <laughs> torpedo explodes. And we cut to freaking Jordy LaForge, who's just like, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like Star Trekking this shit. Reverse the polarity. Yeah. Sure. Sure, mm-hmm. man. You can do yeah. that. So that blows out two torpedoes. Mm-hmm. So a third one's coming in, and he's like, it's out of batteries. So let me get this straight. You have a helicopter mm-hmm. that you keep stocked. Mm. With shark, whale, uh-huh. manta ray, barracuda, barracuda, probably child repellent. Mm-hmm. You don't have extra batteries. Child attractant. For- but they're yeah. on the helicopter. That is In your not- belt. <laughs> <laughs> 
in that utility belt. Yeah. It's nineteen sixties. <laughs> they didn't have like lithium batteries you yet. Don't you don't. Know? So what, what batteries died? Batteries. <laughs> Some batteries. giant thing. Yeah. yeah. The Duracell batteries. He left, oh, he left the heavy water at home. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't put it out. But yeah, I think oh. that's, I think actually you may have actually proven your own point here. Because mm. all those things, and if we had been corrected, it had been a manatee, he would have been fucked. Mm-hmm. There's just some things he's not prepared for. True. Right, so, I guess in order to just for compensation, I need some orange colored cream in my mouth. So now you could tell. I'll the, get Caesar Romero over yeah. here. The, like get his corpse. <laughs> you can tell the the writer slash director was just like, I don't even know how to get him out of this. So we just they're like off camera. Throw at it. Yeah, there's an explosion. They're fine somehow. <laughs> And then the peg was just like, if it wasn't for that random porpoise. <laughs> so some dolphin just got blown up by a goddamn torpedo. No, cuts to Batman and Robin. Like, that porpoise yeah. sacrificed itself to save yeah. us. Freaking what? porpoise Christ. <laughs> rises out of the water. And got them off the beacon. I mean, the buoy. Yeah, well, back on the boat somehow. and home. It's it's ghost rode them just you know <laughs> gave them a ride to safety yeah. like Falcor. Let's have a moment of silence. That porpoise has a name. Brave, brave porpoise. Yeah. It's Flipper. Now, <laughs> yeah, we we couldn't be bothered to film that because oh. you know it's so goddamn impossible that you know you can't actually film it. Well, anyway. also. They had certain ratings and yeah. watching a dolphin explode. It could have been rubber. The shark was. <laughs> yeah. Fair. We saw a shark and an octopus blow up. Mm. All right. So. Sort of. 1966. Yeah. They'll blow up a, cor- a porpoise. Hmm. Now, a, real one, a real one. Probably. <laughs> yeah. So I wrote in my notes, how the fuck did they get off the buoy? And the one other thing I would point out. It. I guess gun time just isn't allowed in this movie because this submarine has a deck gun. Mm-hmm. It has like a machine gun. Not and this you, one. No, this submarine does. Like they fight over around it later. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, why later, didn't you just a different tool set. that up to the buoy and just they may not have known on them. They may not have known about that set before they filmed <laughs> that scene. Fair enough. Eh, right. It's possible, but we also said several times while watching this, like the solution is shoot them. This is what yep. I say. Boo. He is holding an Oreo. It that says, says boo. boo. It's got a okay. ghost. The ghost of the dolphin on it. <laughs> so now Batman's like, all right, well, someone's got a submarine. Let's find out who. Let me call up the Navy. Because Batman can do that. So Batman just calls up the Navy. Mm-hmm. This guy's <laughs> like, Navy here. What can I do for you? Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. boy. What can I do you for? like, oh, did you just sell any submarines to anybody? And they're like, oh, yeah, we sold one to this guy named P.N. Gwynn. <laughs> he didn't even leave his address. <laughs> now, they were pretty eager to get rid of wartime surplus back in the day. But, like, <laughs> not that eager. Yeah. Just sold him a fucking pre-atomic submarine. This this face that Adam West <laughs> is making in this scene. <laughs> he is uh he's about to throw some F words. <laughs> well, yeah, I do, he is holding it back because he's just yeah. like, you stupid mother. Never mind. <laughs> Steampy. <laughs> but yeah, like the and the guy's just like, I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? I just sold it to Johnny Q bad guy. Is that not what I should have done? He actually says that. Yeah, he does. Yes. <laughs> Are you mad at me? Yeah. Are you mad at me, daddy? <laughs> he does call him daddy. It's weird. Fucking... So now the Riddler's like... But so does Robin. I'm <laughs> bored. I'm just going to launch a goddamn ICBM from the submarine. <laughs> <laughs> not for, with, for skywriting purposes. Yeah, plus, for skywriting purposes. Not moving purposes, along. I'm going to launch the Polaris missile. I got to tell him where we are. Yeah. Just to. Does he even. I don't know. I forget what he, he puts, puts up a there. riddle about turkeys flying upside down mm-hmm. and yeah, tree. cats in trees or yeah. some nonsense. Well, no, that's that's the next one, I think. All right. uh, that's the first one. Was it? Yeah. I, I could not remember them. No. Oh. So. But yeah, um, it's some nonsense. The other, the like, second one's about eggs and yeah, some other BS. But the point right. you have a submarine with goddamn 
intercontinental ballistic missiles on them. And like, this is what you're using that for? Yeah, skywriting. Yeah. So now they have a master plan. They're like, check it out. We're going to kidnap someone and we're going to lure Batman to our lair with that person. Then when they get here, (laughs) um, they'll be bamboozled by one of the Riddler's riddles that will cause them somehow to step on this jack-in-the-box that will throw them out the goddamn window into the arms of an explosive octopus. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, I mean, if that's how you want to do it, but, like, yeah, don't you, know. you think there's a, there's a few too many variables you're not taking into account? Yeah, I mean, what I mean, possibly could, what could you be yeah, talking how, about? Yeah, how could this fail? I mean, first of all, you know, one, that means at all times... Roughly, what, half a mile from this pier, there's an octopus waiting about uh-huh. five feet deep, maybe, stuff full of explosives. I'm just hoping hanging out. it's just one of those nautical mines that he put, like, some hoses on and, like, painted to look like an octopus. I hope so. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Poor octopus. Or if it's like that, you know, the octopus that carries around the coconut shells? Yeah. Except this one just has like two bundles of dynamite. No, I'm pretty sure this is a big freaking cartoon octopus that's playing the drums in mm. <laughs> Roger Rabbit. So, what the hell happens next? So, know. nonsense. Oh, they're like, Catwoman. we have to kidnap someone. Let's kidnap Bruce Wayne. Yeah. We need a millionaire. <laughs> so, I got an idea. I know what Bruce likes vaginas. <laughs> At least. That's no, he what is I think. Bruce Wayne likes. We don't know about Batman. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. So we, know oh, Batman. we know what Batman likes. <laughs> Little Robin eggs. So, <laughs> short leg <Robin> eggs. <laughs> You're a bad influence on him, Rob. I wait. Like, what? For real? For real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm a bad influence on him. I'm blaming this on you. Yeah, me too. What the hell? Will used to not be like this. No. <laughs> Will just used to be shy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He was new to the group. It still it still works. Mm-hmm. How do you, you made him do this? No, how do you think he bamboozled his damn way in here? Snacks. Yeah. Riddles that put you on a uh, jack in the box that fired you out a window. He, he was chubby and bearded. It was the right thing to do to take yeah. him in. <laughs> just saw him wandering around outside yes. in the rain. <laughs> he was caught Said, in a tree outside. Sharon, can we keep him? <laughs> So what the hell is this? This is like half a... I know, right? It's... Inconsistent, Reese's. All right. <laughs> so their plan is just to send Catwoman disguised as uh, the reporter Kitka. And, um, you know, Bruce is going to want to hit that. Yeah. And, you know, they'll go on a date. <laughs> and boy, does he. Mm-hmm. So... so jealous. Yeah. So they, they start Legit. talking. And for, for like five seconds, I was like, you know, Adam West does not make a bad Bruce Wayne. And then, then I was like, no, that was a dumb thing to say. <laughs> this <laughs> is terrible. It's one of those faces where you're like, he's handsome, but at the same time, like, oddly off-putting. Yeah. But this guy, like, his speech stalls out more than Shatner. Uh, I yeah. say watching yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this guy stalls out more than Shatner when he's talking. And it is uh, painful to watch. No, painful to listen to. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. But, like, Shatner, at least there's usually some kind of emotion going on in his face, where Adam West is, like... like A serial killer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, he he looks like he's something trying to be a human being. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of off-putting. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, I'd rather Robin just talk the whole time. And Mm. it's not... It's not good, but it's better. <laughs> so well, anyway. I think he does a fine job for what he's given. Like, yeah. seeing the surroundings, he's kind of, you know, he, he's, he's made his home. All right. So we're going to skip a lot of a lot of shit here. But oh, basically, yeah. they go on a, de- uh, on a date. On a Disney Rob- date. Yeah. Robin and Alfred are Peeping. following them. Alfred's in the... In they're the uh, creeping. Alfred's got yeah, the uh, they- Alfred mask on. Yeah, he has... <laughs> First of all, like all a right. fucking hamburger looking mask. <laughs> you know, He's got Bruce, Robin's back up. Bruce and Kitka are going on this date. <laughs> he looks like the fucking Slender Man. 
<laughs> he looks like the Hamburglar. <laughs> yeah. And they're following Bruce and Kitka in the Batmobile. <laughs> Not like, even at a distance. A horse, yeah, like, mind you. A horse. a horse and carriage. A single horse. Carriage. And then a Batmobile. Like, if I was anyone on the street, I'd be like, oh, there's a parade happening right now? <laughs> like, Why is that man using a jet engine to follow a horse? <laughs> like, <laughs> and they have a, a camera set up inside the carriage. Inside the, the they're carriage. watching from the Batmobile. Well, like you do. We guess. Who knows where this camera is? No, it's, yeah. it's one of those little teddy bears. It's in the horse's asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's in the horse's ass. Robin put it there himself. Yeah. Uh, so, and and Kit is like, oh, I was threatened. They sent me this message, and it's 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 my a rented penthouse. <laughs> yeah, it's a riddle, and then Batman, Bruce is like, oh, it's just a harmless crank. <laughs> and he'd be like. Let me show you one that's not so harmless. <laughs> Let's go back to your place. Yeah, so they're like hanging out in this carriage, going back to her place, and she pulls out her little cat Morse code transmitter. <laughs> you that have has, one, Joe? That has the cat's eyes light up when she's on. using it. it le- it's like it's between her legs, and it looks like she's... <laughs> What? It looks like she's practicing her DJ skills down there or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, well, luckily for her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Luckily maybe for her, Bruce Wayne. Okay. Maybe as, it was just in my head. Yeah. Luckily for her, though, fiction. Bruce Wayne has his head sideways pressed against hers <laughs> yeah. and is looking at nothing. Uh, but has his eyes closed for most of this. Fun fact, this is the same kind of device they sell now for people that are worried about being in Ubers. <laughs> I just want to... Cat. SOS. Yeah. <laughs> Two stars. If you hit the right code, the Polaris will. I mean, um, the Riddler will fire a Polaris <laughs> missile at the cat. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right. So now I do want to th- point out. At one point, it looks like they're about to start making out. Yeah. And and Robin's like, <laughs> Robin's like, maybe we should be watching this. Alvin's like, Alvin's face is like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, was, he told us to watch the whole thing. So yeah. Leave it on. It's I'm just almost, getting good, boy. <laughs> I'm almost done. But ultimately, he's like, I guess you're right, Master Dick. Like, <laughs> like, Alvin's had nothing to be, watch but you and Master Bruce for a while. Mm. Uh, I need some real fun. All right. Uh, <laughs> so... Now, like, for the Alfred files, they're like, all right, let's go kidnap <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Where, like, in a modern movie, like, Catwoman would just do, do it. this, but they're like, no, we need six guys to go subdue him. Get the jetpack umbrellas, yeah, uh-huh. let's ride on umbrellas, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah be totally fun. This is like, like, you look at that and you're like, who, who signed off on that? Like, I like that, like, like. Uh, Burgess Meredith is at least trying to sell it like he's galloping on his like it's doing something yeah. but he's flying next to someone else who's just like flat on it like <laughs> yeah the Riddler is just like well, yeah just I also didn't was the did Riddler have his own yeah. umbrella or was I that a sidecar so. no it was weird it was it his was... own because he had his own control stick but then, then, the the silu- and then in the silhouette it looked like they were riding double <laughs> though <look> like <laughs> now mind you the helicopter umbrella could have been kind of cool. Yeah. That might have made a little sense. A glider umbrella mm. would have accepted. Sure. You know. But this is straight up witch brooms. Yeah. Yeah, it's like quit. It's like freaking Quidditch. Quidditch. <laughs> yeah. Plus here, uh, Peter it's Cesar Romero, because the Joker's enjoying the hell out of this ride. Well, well why wouldn't you? It's ridiculous. Is once he once the they kidnap Bruce point? Wayne, that pirate um, is enjoying that yeah, ride. Not. So, <laughs> like, there's a camera set up in her rented penthouse that goes yeah. to the Batmobile, too. And uh, it looks like they're about to start getting doing more than making out. Oh my god! And so Robin's like, <laughs> he he is like angry and yeah. like turns it off. <laughs> and Alfred's like, "What are you doing, yeah. fucking boy?" It's like we should not watch this. He said to watch everything. Yeah, <laughs> you might learn something. It's like, all right, maybe, <laughs> maybe a peek. I'm getting I'm getting an anger boner. But no, they let yeah. it off. And while it's turned off, he, he gets fucking kidnapped. He gets like, man piled. No. He does. All the bad guys <laughs> pile on Bruce. And he's he's beating most of their asses. Yeah. Yeah. He's just well, beating as, in the sense of, like, imagine a fight filmed underwater. <laughs> That's about the speed this choreography is going at. <laughs> imagine your dad just took a class where uh, to learn stunts. This is what happens. 
Yeah, none of these punches come close to connecting. Oh, imagine a fight hosted by Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> yeah, it is except without the acrobatics. Right. It is funny because they are known for, and we do get it later. But the you know the biffs, the yep. slaps, or whatever, and it's like we could have used more of that just mm-hmm. to cover the huge gap it wasn't between. Batman fighting it was Bruce Wayne but it doesn't yeah. but my point is we could use that even when he was fighting at other points but we could have used that to cover that big gap between the yeah. fist and the guy's face <laughs> you know <laughs> just so it looked like it might actually be something so they eventually subdue him um <laughs> And then they get him on the umbrella. Yeah, he's holding on for dear life. <laughs> no, the guy, the pirate, had just his hand. Did you notice he's this? Got oh. yeah. He's got yeah, he that does. dude's dick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no nice way to say it. He what is. is it? Like his hands are on his stomach, and the pirate guy just his hands. <laughs> pushes his hand down. I didn't take it out for air. Hold further down. <laughs> Pirates like, they didn't say no. So. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. If you want to navigate this yeah. umbrella, it was a choice um, by Adam we, West. We get them to the choice to their lair. He was trying yep. to control him like Ratatouille. So they <laughs> maybe I can escape. So yeah, they go and they put him. They're like, all right, let's go have him meet Kitka in Chamber Seventeen. So like, you know, Catwoman pretends to be Kitka and get like learns that Bruce Wayne has a radio on his wrist. Um, that you know will lead uh to help here so um they're like all right well let's go beat his ass and take the radio <laughs> and he just like fucking bursts out of the ropes and a fight another fight starts just like the one we just saw mm. <clears throat> there's a lot of that but this it. this time yeah this one contains one of the greatest things i've ever seen <laughs> 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 this fucking poor goon <laughs> And like you know, it's it's because there's all the the main villains, and yeah. one guy shows yeah. up who's not them. Uh oh, uh oh. It's like this doesn't look good for you, red shirt. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he could turn into a GI Joe doll any yeah. minute now. <laughs> and this man, this man lands on the Jack in the Box yeah. during the tussle. Yeah, and this poor dummy is fired through a window, <laughs> and then. Uh, is flying in a manner similar to the Polaris missile. <laughs> it, <laughs> Mr. Bill, no! <laughs> just flies into the water, stupidly where the explosive octopus is, and fucking blows up. <laughs> and, like, it's so shitty looking, but it's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Bruce Wayne's just like, all right, well, that window that got broken open, I'm going to jump out there yeah. and well, swim away. Is, so we don't, out. we don't know, because you watch this separately. At one point, he calls, is it Riddler or Joker? <laughs> Riddler. Riddler. A stupid thug? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not what we heard. We had to rewind it and listen back a couple of times. <laughs> what did we hear, guys? He says stupid fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he sure does. <laughs> well, that's legit what he heard. That's so what it sounded like he said. Yeah. So now, they make sure when he gets back to the Batcave that we see the full change into Batman down the fire pole thing and drive off on the Batmobile to go back to that evil lair. I mean, we still don't see the change. We just see he goes down as Bruce yeah. and comes out as Batman. Yeah, but, well, but the point is, you, like... Shit you've seen multiple times now. Oh, you yeah. You need to go see that full sequence. Right. when They can't just show back up, you know, as Batman and Robin. Well, this is the 60s. Everybody's yeah. on the on the reefers. And, and we need to fill time. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. While that's happening, though, back at Evilville, they're like, all right, check this thing out. Get the, um, get the guinea pigs out. We got this dehydrator gun. Yeah. So, so now this is what the, the weapon was on, on the boat? Yeah. The technology. Yeah. Like, which... The um, Commodore was using to make whiskey. Right. That's what they said. Right. Because you, I don't, I don't know much about whiskey, but I'm pretty sure you don't take all the water out of it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, couple, don't couple know. things with this. No. Number one, again, had we just surfaced this uh, mm. submarine earlier when they were caught on this yeah. buoy, turned into dust. I, well, they might have fallen in the water, but the eh. point is, we could have figured something out and hit them with this yeah. damn dehydrating gun and be done with this. Yeah. Well, put them in a litter box and have Catwoman's cat take a turd in them. There you go. <laughs> Dig wow. around with Secondly, woman. Catwoman herself. Yeah. Is this not the plot of Batman Begins? Kind of? Oh, yeah. 
Mm. He, he got on a boat and stole a dehydrating gun. It Take turns. out the fear gas element. <laughs> well, yeah, the, Batman begins. <laughs> it's something, right? Yeah. It just turns the water into yeah, vapor. It turns it into to, to spooky mist. Well, that was, see, that well, was no, the thing. It was, about, it was straight a dehydrating gun. It well, took all the water out of the air. It was a microwave emitter. Or micro, I'm sorry. Right, yeah, microwave. Which, stuff. oh my God. I have to talk about it every time. Because <laughs> that movie was taking itself so goddamn seriously. And was they rolled it, out this microwave thing. <laughs> like, like, all right, so here's the deal. It kills the enemy's water. And it's like, it's a fucking microwave. <laughs> like, it's Kills just going to kill everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to evaporate all the water in Gotham City, like, no, in the pipes. Serious. We're super serious. It's like, it, metal reflects microwaves. <laughs> like, the safest thing in the city is the water in the pipes. Meanwhile, all the people, you're just going to fucking cook. Just use that. Yeah. This is not a silly comic book movie. But no. in the sequel, we're going to have a flying Ed 209. And it's going to be great. <laughs> that was the third one. Was it? But the bat, whatever. Anyway. The bat. Just the bat. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, what are we We'll save that for so another now, podcast as well. You could yeah. take your tumbler and just put that right up your butt. We meet um, mm-hmm. guinea pigs one through five. Yep. Gotta get 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 Wow. Are you okay? Want to take yeah. that again? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. My brain just... <laughs> I think, oh, it's it, for the best. It's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> that's I believe looks. there's a scratch on the hard disk. Yeah, so. That's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what the hell is even happening? So they dehydrate them with this dehydrator gun yeah. that pulls all the water in them out, which is like all the water would maybe fill a soda can. <laughs> Just for leaves each of them flavor crystals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a pile, little pile of dust. A little pile of crystal light. Weirdly, of uniquely course. flavored or colored flavor yeah. crystals. Yeah. Which, of course, Penguin's like, woman, get the broom! <laughs> Sweep it up! Yeah. <laughs> and don't miss any of it. Yeah. Because that's a person. Yeah. He yeah, actually he, says... He was like, they have mothers, you know? <laughs> yes, they eat, they all have mothers. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. He loves his goons. I mean, he wasn't too broken up about that guy that got fired out the window, but <laughs> he loves these guys. Acceptable losses. So the idea is to uh, to get them dehydrated, put them in, in the bottles. He goes in and gets caught by Batman and brought to the bat to the bat cave, and then rehydrates them. So he has his goons in the bat cave with Batman. Right. Like, now my problem with this is. <laughs> Stupid. Every episode of the show, mm-hmm. Batman just fights him and all his goons and his wins. Yeah. yeah. So like, you like, well, you're on his home turf now. So like, that's worse for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like, can can I propose a counter plan? Sure. Like, go in there and bring just bring like any manner of homing bullshit that you have, and just fire one of the fucking Polaris missiles at the <laughs> back. <laughs> Like, hey, God, you have ICBMs. I can't. I can't get past that. But yeah, but that you know, if if they if they do that, then what's that freaking mix between Elijah Wood and Willem Dafoe, known as the Riddler, going to do? <laughs> That's true because he's replaced all the warheads with riddles. So yeah, just yeah, he's hit just the them, with a riddle. Tell them their plan again. <laughs> yeah. In all fairness, they don't actually have missiles. They have stock footage of missiles. Being <laughs> well, yeah, well they have stock footage of a missile. Yeah, <laughs> they have they stock footage of a one. few things <laughs> multiple times. So, uh, um, not an octopus, unfortunately. No. <laughs> yeah. So now they all leave, um, and Batman comes into their evil lair, and there's a big old bomb there, like a big old cartoon acme. bomb, like oh. an acme bomb. I also want to get into quickly hmm, the penguin to do this. <clears throat> Guys himself is this uh, Professor ch- Fuzzy Wug. Ch- ch- yeah. Shrablin, Sh- Commodore, Schmiddle, Schmiddle, Schmiddle. 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 whatever, yeah, Schmiddle. doesn't matter. Schmiddle diddle. Um, he goes through this whole ruse in this mm. whole disguise. He gets in there. Uh, he re- he accidentally rehydrates his minions with hard water. No, this is later. Well, uh, this is later. Yeah. We're jumping ahead. The bomb is first. Is the bomb first? Bomb's first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay. So are you ready to, to watch Batman run with a bomb for forever. five full minutes? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so the problem with the penguin is he puts way too long of a fuse on everything. For real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. On everything. This is a 
a little stupid. Mm. Yeah. So Batman's running around with the bomb and he goes like um, throw it out the window and there's like a, a random band is walking by. So then he goes into the restaurant and fat chat shout out because like <laughs> these two ladies, he's, he's like, everyone get out. And these two ladies are like, fuck that. I'm finishing my chicken wings. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they, they may not have been physically able to get yeah. up from the chairs. Oh, come on. Then they're dying happy. They're like, just take me now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got our what looked like some prime sort rib. of prime rib on the table. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, we're good. So Batman runs outside. There's like a nun there. Yeah. You know. And the best part, though, is he keeps running into the same threats over and over yes. again, as if they didn't just see yeah. Batman running around with a giant bomb, and we're like, no, let's continue our day. No, it's Batman. Well, we trust him. He yeah. got it. I also like I that mean, it, it basically implies that as much as you're seeing Batman running around with his bomb, he's just kind of going in circles. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, it's the 60s, <clears throat> and Batman, not particularly muscular yeah. or set apart from... Um, Any other just mm -hmm. dude that could buy some pajamas and look pretty much exactly yep. like that. I'm sorry, Rob. I was told he's in top shape. <laughs> well, we were told by him. Well, guess yeah. what? That <laughs> makes us in pretty decent shape. <laughs> yeah. We could run a marathon. <laughs> I'm in a shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, might be a bear, we are all but it's a shape. shape. Yeah. So... A potato, but he finally <laughs> like after this whole big build up, <laughs> like all all the things happen off the screen where he's like, "Oh, I threw the bomb away and ducked behind these pipes <laughs> that they didn't show." Yeah. Um. So also, where did you throw the bomb? Because we were just told you doesn't matter. Throw it in the ocean because the little ducks. Yeah. I want to know because I want to know I, did more aquatic I, animals those, die those because of Batman? Yeah, yeah those, <laughs> yeah, those plastic wooden ducks. ass ducks. Yeah, <laughs> those are freaking. Oh, those are like what hunters use to they attract were decoys, the other yes. ducks. Yeah. Those straight up decoys. I um, believe they had like like chicken, like baby chick sounds yeah. and not how, duck yeah. sounds. How can oh, you yes. not just get footage of ducks? <laughs> yeah. Did you not? Are ducks that hard to come across? They, they didn't have an intern. No one wanted to go sit by a pond. <laughs> um, I feel like if you ask the director, he'd kind of be like the doctor from the 80s Batman. Like, you see who they have to work with? <laughs> just a bunch of bloody tools. <laughs> And, and one rubber duck. <laughs> and a shark. <laughs> that would have been better if it was rubber ducks. Yeah. Not like the wooden ducks. So, um, I forgot. Before this scene, though, we did get the obligatory them climbing the wall. The classic. They're clearly oh, yeah, walking course. on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a full fucking conversation climbing a wall. Which like, is just string. They're just pulling on string. It is yeah. just string. So, so he's got the bomb, and it cuts away, and so you like see the explosion happen. And you're like, oh, I guess Batman's dead. And Robin comes over. He's like, no, Batman. And then see, Batman pops out from behind the thing that Robin's standing next to. <laughs> right, and he's fully in front of <laughs> yes. Robin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the problem is this would have been the, the end of episode two, where you thought Batman uh, had yeah. exploded. <laughs> What's this? Does our Cape Crusader yeah. meet a meaty fate? Exactly. No, they're using, like, wrestling run-in rules. Like, if they are not on the camera, they do not exist. <laughs> <laughs> He just oh. stepped one foot forward. He's, he's in a frame now. He's yeah. there the whole time. <laughs> That's our Randy Robin wrinkled up in a raining of bat chunks. So, um, find out next Now, <laughs> Penguin's master plan comes yeah. into play where he shows up pretending to be Commodore Schmidlap. Right. And they're just like, yo, that's the penguin. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. Like, yeah, up. they're like, like, hey, you're the penguin. Yeah. No, I'm not. That's crazy talk. <laughs> All right, well. Then it goes through some nonsense. Well, yeah. But this is this also kind of fucks me up, because I'm like, you know immediately this is the penguin, which good on you, because it's clearly Burgess mm -hmm. Meredith. Sure. Although, his disguise is better than <clears throat> Kit Kat's. Who is clearly Catwoman, mm -hmm. who is, uh, multiple times in their date has said how perfect something yeah. is. <laughs> and nobody is like, you know, Bruce Wayne, you fight really well and your jaw looks real familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, that cadence is like no one else yeah, in the world. Yeah, nobody else talks like that. Play a cards right and you might get a fancy feast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
All right. So I would love that. <laughs> they take him back to the fucking bat cave, and he's like, "Can I just have a drink of water?" <clears throat> <laughs> like, sure, go touch all our machines over there. Yeah, they're like so over you. there. We're gonna do, we're gonna do iris. Like, we're yeah. gonna check your your eyes for your pattern. And Robin yeah. pulls out this giant ass like sonar looking machine. <laughs> He's like, let me just go hit uh, hit your water cooler real quick. Well, it's funny too to think like. So they're like, okay, we have a retinal scanner. That will tell for sure. When, like, how that's, this, that's a word. like, yeah, if you in the 60s went to the CIA, like, and they suspected you were a Russian, how they would find out of just beating you in a room for 10 hours. Tear, tearing <laughs> off your fingernails. Yeah, like, and, if, you know, by the end, you still continued saying you were, you know, you were not a communist. Then they would believe you. <laughs> like, slightly different methodology. But anyway, so yeah, he dispenses <laughs> these bottles on the ropes that he had, like, stuffed up his jacket. Wait, and he goes to this the water dispenser unit, I believe was what it was labeled. Yeah. Um, In other words, a fucking sink. Yeah. It was a water cooler. Yeah. Um, but it looks like he's taking a leak on this damn thing or yeah. something. And he, yes, very suspiciously starts pulling out this whole apparatus where, he, like yeah. he said, it's a big rubber tube with all these little, uh, uh, what do you call them? Got Test, tube, yeah. Test tubes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, vials. full of the sand. Batman and Robin are just like, well, we shouldn't look at what he's doing. Yeah, no. More question. We, we, we shouldn't watch this man we suspect <laughs> to be a villain that's roaming loose in the Batcave, right? Yeah, but the drinking water happens to also be the source of hard water for their batteries. Uh, heavy, heavy water. Heavy water. Yeah. I'm sorry, heavy water. Which that's how you get heavy rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jason, like, <laughs> sorry. Fuck. Just knowing what it took to produce heavy water and like like the lengths that like everyone went through in World War II to stop the Germans from making it and all that, like, the fact that it's just pouring out of a faucet in Batman's <laughs> lair is so friggin' absurd. Um, like, that shit's super expensive, and he's just like, oh, I flipped the wrong switch, looks well, he, like I'm drinking the heavy water. Yeah, he is a millionaire. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know. He is head of the Wayne Foundation. Yeah. Which sounds less like a big company and more like... Mm. Like he deals with homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. So That's where he found Dick. Yeah. Unfortunate. So if you rehydrate oh, your dehydrated goons, yes, with H three O instead of H two O, they're just fucked because they all pop up and they're like, "All right, let's uh, let's go beat up Batman." And the moment they touch anything, vaporize. That's just too yeah. many H's. Yeah. That's the problem. It's too heavy. They explode yeah, like balloons, as we're told. Yeah. And become antimatter. Antimatter. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> well, okay, so instant. never mind the fact that, <clears throat> first off, you know, heavy water is prized for its ability to ca- can carry another hydrogen um, ion, which, you know, can be used in a nuclear reaction to exploit to make a hydrogen bomb. Also, they just turned into antimatter, which when in that contacts regular matter explodes. Mm-hmm. So it's like negates it and nullifies themselves. And- yeah, well, like something here would have just catastrophically exploded. Well, be that as it may, something did catastrophically explode at this point, and for me, it was the movie will to itself. Live. Yeah, yeah, well, the will to keep watching the movie. Like everything past this point mm. just becomes awful. And, I was just fell asleep at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were all started kind of yeah. looking at our phones. Yeah, up until this point, it was like, I was on board. I'm like, this is ridiculous. It was fun to make stupid. fun of. And now it's like, we're just going to repeat the same thing over and over again. So I was not entertained, but I was so curious because I'm like, I just want to see where they're going laser with eyes. this. What's that? Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I fired my laser eyes at TV. I was glued to it. I'm, I was transfixed by like, this is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> That's saying something. Yeah. It's not, but it's like I thought for a second it might have might have been. Um, well, here we get some real craziness as well because now the penguin still in this disguise. Batman's just like I'm gonna play into this for some reason, so we're gonna drug him. Yeah, let's go drive, drive him down the road, wake him up. At first, we'll each take a pill that yeah. makes us immune <laughs> to his gas. Mm-hmm. We should have one of those here. For yeah, I was yeah. just thinking that. Um, <laughs> and we'll wake him up. We'll pretend the car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm out of gas. Yeah. We should pull over yeah. here. Looks like we got stuck at, at Make, Make Out, out Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> 
Come here, Robin. <laughs> but, Again. Uh, then the penguin just it's like fuck you both, gasses them, <laughs> kicks them I out of the car. I am the penguin. Pulled you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Takes the car. Steals their ride. Yeah. Which, <laughs> as far as we knew, wasn't yeah, working. The car's not working. What are you doing? <laughs> he but, called their bluff. Yeah, he did. Well, half their bluff. It's this is what I don't get. But uh, yeah, he takes off. They just hop in the bat cycle, which happened to be right there, covered mm-hmm. with, with with a shrubbery. Well, yeah. this was Batman's plan, so he probably knew it was there. That's why he pulled over. <laughs> he stores it random places. You know? Yeah, he just oh, had like well, yeah. a That's... had some. <laughs> yeah, like you, know what? you know, tissue what? paper. This, on mo- it. this movie feels like it was written by like many people. Who only each got to write one sentence and only each got to see the f- sentence right before theirs. Right, yeah, this is like, <laughs> like, like a game of game telephone. They, they, do, yeah. they do vaguely like the players involved. I, I did that in a running class before. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this is about what you get. But yeah, so now we can we can follow him, them back to uh, this is the submarine. Um, no, so this is so no. this is where they take they the motorcycle the to the back, back to the bat copter, right? Where. Robin in his sidecar. Yeah. They deploy the sidecar, and I'm like, oh, all right, they're splitting up. Let's see what the little side go-kart thing does. They drive a quarter mile. <laughs> no. Not like even. T- 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah right. It this just was, rolled to a stop. That's all it did. This was literally, <laughs> they deployed the sidecar because he didn't want to walk around the helicopter. <laughs> they could each park on their own side and get in. That's all this was. <laughs> He was afraid that Dick Grayson would walk into the back rotor. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, or maybe he was hoping he could launch him into it. <laughs> oh, Lord. You just, you immediately, like, without, you know, without qu- hesitation, you're just like, what the fuck was the point of that? Yeah. Oh, my God, this is the worst. <laughs> so um, then they, t- they take the, they take the back copter back up. They're flying around like idiots. Uh, the Riddler fires off another Polaris missile to, to to put more ridiculous, stupid riddles in the air. That almost takes out the bat yeah, copter. The, yes. the, the missile clips the bat copter. Yeah, the closest they've come so far to killing these two is accident. by a mistake. Yeah, mm-hmm. so bat copter crash we're going lands down. on a... And by that, I mean we're flipping the camera yeah, upside down. Yeah, the camera down. jiggles around. And they, they land. And I, I can't say crash land because the no. camera just writes itself. And mm-hmm. they're like, oh crash <laughs> i believe someone off camera actually said crash <laughs> and they're just on a f- they're in like the a f- foam convention a foam, the foam rubber con- convention yes. maybe that's a thing but i would never think maybe that that's 60s. a thing <laughs> like check out this new thing foam no <laughs> so it's mm-hmm. all right so now yeah, let's be the they're like this all right well I'm like they <laughs> figure out the rid- the riddles like the united world headquarters so like like, all right, let's hail a cab, and then they're like, "Fuck it, let's just, yeah, let's run. just run." We're in tip-top shape. <laughs> it's, cool. and it's not like the world's in danger. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a nice day. Let's you stop for ice cream it, on just, the way there. Fuck it, we're gonna run. And they run against the green screen. <laughs> like I, they filmed them running like down a street. So you got you went and got stock footage. So why the fuck did you need to film these two men running against a green screen oh. so unconvincingly? Um, was, it it really should have been like at some point, so like Robin could get hot and take off his shirt. No, you know why? They could run you know why it is legit? Touch. Because so they could take that footage, put a different scene behind it, and just have them running oh, yeah. for any yeah. any situation mm. in the show. Oh, of course. So, and it's stupid every time. Yeah, Catwoman, Riddler, and the Joker storm the United World headquarters through the fucking submarine dock. Yeah, the sure. UN, it, sub- the UN yeah. submarine dock. Mm-hmm. That leads That's how the, the Russians get in and out. Well marked abandoned elevator. Right. There's, only, there's only nine countries involved. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need we'll, is nine. Well, we'll we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um. So, um. Penguin, meanwhile, just walks right in and gasses all the guards, and fl- like casually tosses his umbrella down the hallway, <laughs> spinning like a helicopter, lets out a Hurr! and um, the two of the guards fall asleep, like leaning against each other, making like an A-frame mm-hmm. that uh, Riddler just walked, I mean, um, Penguin, Penguin just walks under. Yeah. All right. 
So now you see the United World Security Council, and it's nine countries arguing at each other. In a room. Okay. At a table right. very much like this right here. Mm-hmm. So Nigeria, the Nigerian prince is up their game. How the fuck is Nigeria on the World Security no, Council? They're there. Yeah. They're just yeah. There. They're like, we ain't here. What? Like, yeah. yeah. All right. You know, it's not, mm-hmm. it's not the countries that won World War II. It's- I'm pretty sure that... The, the writing staff was like, all right, we need some brown people. Where do brown people come from? They just pointed at a map, mm-hmm. generally in the Africa-ish yeah. area. All, all right. right. So, <laughs> I'm so I, Am I wrong? Yeah. That's probably what happened. <laughs> so, Logan, credit for not being more offensive with it. Mm-hmm. You did the best you could. All right. Well, I mean, that on their part oh, as well. Okay. I thought, <laughs> like, I thought you were talking about Rob. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, he did not do the best he could. Yeah. Oh, so we also, are we on. talking about when, me? When, when <laughs> gas is one of the guards, you can cl- clearly tell they only had one gas umbrella and it was a fucking dud. Yeah. Because all the gas it just is blows in right back in his face. Yes. He's a, None he's of it reaches the guard. <laughs> he's built up an immunity yeah. to it. Yeah, he's used his own gas. Like, yeah. Um, much like I much am. like a fart, yeah. yeah. Everyone likes right. their own brand. So <laughs> I wouldn't say likes. Just yeah, <laughs> more <laughs> resistant to it. Yeah. Loves it. So they, <laughs> yeah, likes. they burst in. Joker <laughs> takes the dehydrator and dehydrates the United World Council. Turns him into different colors of sand art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they escape through their submarine, yeah. taking uh, taking the dust piles with them. Yeah. Plan is they want a billion dollars from each country. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, the, little did they know though the bat boat is on the scene because they're um, what's that? Um, I don't even know how they even track the sub at that point, but they just know where they it figured is. a clue out. That was um, mm-hmm. well, they had let Penguin go on purpose to track him. Okay, that's that's what that's so they put the tracker on. Yeah, him. That, that's, yeah. that's like what Penguin should have done in the first yeah. place. So they fire, you know, an ICBM. That was his plan to to mm-hmm. when uh. Because he says, says Rob, like, like, I put a tracker on them so I can yeah. so follow him back to oh. to their to their new. new yeah. I didn't even think that was it. I thought they just figured it out because of the the whole uh, egg and you know that's how they figured out the uh, the, the, the world, UN was. UN for, well, he, he said like like we follow follow him back to his. Um, yeah, that later. makes sense. It's just mm. it happened so much later than that. Yeah, that at this point, off. like I was totally. So, yeah, and we were all done. Off. All right, so we're. We're watching this battle between the bat boat and a freaking submarine. Mm-hmm. So they fire an, an ICBM at the speedboat. Sure. And Batman just, you know, does some bullshit with one of his devices. Mm-hmm. And you know, the missile stops. So then they fire some torpedoes. And Batman again just, you know, does More. some bullshit with his <laughs> Robin, little... Robin, fire the dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, Aquaman. like, Robin gets out the bat charges... Which is like some kind of Nerf gun bazooka looking thing that fires really bad special effects. Uh, and then they just fire that at the sub for a while until the, the like Joker just gives up and tells the sub the surface by yelling into the penguin phone. And um, the sub, you know, reaches the surface and now it's we, time. we get one hell of a, of a melee. So yeah. where to begin here? Bam. Um, well. Yeah. Uh, Batman picks up Catwoman's cat. Well, it was, it was thrown, thrown at him. At him. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, he, pick, yeah. he gets it in yeah. his arms. I want to point out that throughout this fight, the cat that's in it, it's a real cat. It's a yeah. real cat. They're yeah. really like throwing his cat around and shit. It must not be happy. No. 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 He fucking hucks it into like a lifeboat. Um, <laughs> he via, does. He says, via con Dios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> after he does. fights like a bunch of guys a bunch. With while a cat holding man. this cat. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's like the fighting you'd see at like a stunt show, yeah. But without like the cool stunts, like you know, just the same like guy falls backwards into a pool of water on the soundstage, yeah, yeah. over and over again. Many excuses to have someone dumbly stand near the edge, only mm-hmm. to get pushed mm-hmm. a- slightly and fall into the water. And Batman himself gets knocked into the water by the Catwoman. By Catwoman, well, Penguin does a six um, umbrella slide down the uh, the line, you know, oh, from yeah. the the con tower to the front mast, and then um, yeah, they uh, <laughs> you're getting these crappy sound effects going across the screen like blurp. When uh, <laughs> someone falls in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Catwoman is the only reasonably effective person here in that she sneaks in from the back and pushes them into the water. Catwoman is saved with the, we are a show that can't show a man punching a woman in the face. No, 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 no. She's she's doing useful things in that she sneaks up on them and pushes them off the boat. Kind of. But in the end, it doesn't freaking matter because, like, um, Penguin's too busy, like, dicking around with his umbrella the the goons are just swimming around and batman and robin just push them all over to the sub and tied them up with one rope all of them tied up mm-hmm. um and then climb back aboard Catwoman, yeah climbs down the uh the con tower and just immediately collapses <laughs> just faints no. i don't know yeah i <laughs> like what the like fuck? her heels fuck her up so it was a different time um <laughs> i watched this movie with four people Two of them have already gone home at this point. <laughs> uh, so it's, ju- it. it's just Becca and myself. And Becca at that point was just like, really? <laughs> and then so. And you said, that's how women is, Becca. Yeah. <laughs> then she ninja punched Yeah, then she took <laughs> me out. In the yeah. fucking throat. <laughs> and I collapsed like Catwoman. <laughs> um, and she just said, that's how women is, Joe. <laughs> yeah. So, Batman. Would it be better if Batman had just punched her in the face and been like, equal rights? <laughs> I mean, you're all getting an asshole from Batman. <laughs> so now Catwoman's mask falls off and Batman realizes that she was uh, Kit Cut. And, oh my God. Uh, I don't even know what the expression on his face is. <laughs> He's got to play it cool, rage. man. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is serial murder. Like, rage. Just, just play the like. <laughs> How dare someone wear a mask to fool people? Let's not forget. (laughs) Let's also not forget. At this point, he gets the serial killer rage look on his face, and it starts playing like the Russian national anthem or some shit. What the fuck? I honestly thought he was gonna like start killing people, start fucking people, yeah. maybe a bit of both. I don't know. <laughs> so, so, so we didn't point out. Maybe um, fuck a corpse that he just killed. Yeah, maybe. Was she a big um, fat person? Before, yeah. This is how we make Reavers. Yeah. Before the, the, the bomb scene where he's mm-hmm. running around with a bomb, like him and Dick go, go, go to get in there and uh, mm-hmm. he sends Dick back out. He's like, no, it's not safe enough. It's not safe. He runs in to save Kitka. He thinks she's really yeah. in there still. It's so like. When he sees it, he's like hurt. His 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 heart is just broken. And he's like, "Man's in love." I was gonna I was I was gonna tell you who I, who I was for a second, mm-hmm. and like you're Catwoman, and like I didn't recognize you. With mm-hmm. this stupid fucking mask, I didn't recognize you. I did not it's know not you. Barely changed your actor. <laughs> so you know, that might be it. Yeah, that might really be it. <laughs> um. So. He then does this super over dramatic, like swooning dive to grasp the um, the container of test tubes that has the World Security Council on it, <laughs> and then Commodore asshole just comes in like blah, 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 yeah. and crashes into him, and, <laughs> and then he sneezes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just completely <sighs> mixes all the world leaders <sighs> together. Jeez, you're right. No. Um, he's got some. He got some, he's got some people sand no, but, in his throat. Yeah, he straight up. He comes. He might as well have at this point just been replaced by Chris Farley. <laughs> I live in a van down by the river. And just... Came in full speed and just crashed into him. Yeah, and then just sneezes just to be yeah. a dick. There's still like 20 minutes of movie left. Oh. <laughs> Not so, for us. Yeah. So fucking, now they're like, all right, well, clearly Batman and Robin are the people for the job of separating the world leaders, which apparently you could just do in a centrifuge. Yeah. Yeah. They got a machine for that. It's yeah. Cool. Like they're live streaming it. It's like, it's the world leaders. Like, it's just grains of colored sand. Like, enough people with enough magnifying glasses, you could separate the shit out. But I guess Batman's got got his centrifuge machine that can do it. Yeah, why not? All right, so. But also, like right here, Robin is like, would you know? Maybe it'd be a good thing if we mixed him up a little. Yeah, Robin wants to play God a bit, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like picturing the fucking Brendel flies that yeah. are coming out of this damn thing. <laughs> also, their their lab coats still have the capes over. Yep. Obviously, you got your lab capes. Yeah. And Batman doesn't feel the need to cover his nose oh, with his mask. Yeah. And the uh, the mayor and the commissioner are asking about this to Batman yeah. on the phone, live on TV in yeah. front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
He straight up, I can only assume on a live broadcast, ask Batman if there's any hope left in the world. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, um, now, oh God. I have some questions. Mm. So, they rig, no? up this, they rig up this apparatus. No, I've had a lot of questions. But they rig up this apparatus. It says soft water. Yeah. Yeah, they well, they're clearly labeling me, everything yeah, now. Sure. Yeah. Well, they clearly labeled everything before, but it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a bowl full of two thousand. You know, so, some people who had mothers, you know, that lost their lives because of the uh, heavy water switch. <laughs> so anyway, they set up this whole apparatus that has the world leaders separated into their individual tubes. It has like a little thing that supposedly is going to drip water on them, but they couldn't actually figure out how to rig this up, so they just made water sound effects. Yeah, yeah. but. The Just water tube, through some of it. They're in test tubes on ring stands on the chairs where they were sitting. Shh, mm-hmm. Don't they? Wouldn't they reform with with ring stands up their ass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think they're so upset? Yeah. When they yeah. So then, this this is probably my favorite part though, because they all reform and they're all yelling like they were before, but now they're speaking different languages. So like you know the the Russian one switched with the German one or whatever. Yeah. And all that. So Batman and Robin are like, we should just go. Yeah. <laughs> like, and everyone's let's, just like, yay. Let's take the like, window. It's like the media's not well, no, yet discovered that they're speaking the wrong languages. No, yeah. That's the funny thing. It's not even that everyone's like, yay. Yeah. It's everyone's dumbfounded. But yeah. they're just like, all right, they're not looking. Let's go out the window. We should yeah. go. <laughs> let's go. Right, Attach right, the right out the window. Yeah, not even out the door. Yeah. Out the window. <laughs> they're like, all right, we've kind of fucked up. Let's just go. <laughs> Perfect. And and that's it. That's it. It just says the end. Then the word living the appears living between end. Yeah, the yeah. two. Question and mark. Like a question mark? I don't know. What, what the fuck does that mean? mean? Nobody knows. I think that was like a phrase in the 60s. Yeah, right? That, isn't that a thing? Like, like, yeah, oh, you're the living out. end? We'll Google it. What, what Joe just summarized there. Took 20 minutes it of movie yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. That fucking happened, you know? Like... <laughs> Like fifteen minutes of it was Batman sifting through sand, like it's the dullest fucking thing. <laughs> no, talking about a machine that will sift through sand. <sighs> so that's it. Right? That's it. Yeah. Rob's looking up the living. Maybe end. Rob can look that phrase up. You know, during the intermission. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let's take a quick break. All right, boys and girls, how's the Batman movie? Tony, what do we got? All right, so. On RottenTomatoes.com, critics gave the score of 78%. What? Jesus Christ. Audience gave the score of 62%. What? All right. They are from the 60s. I was going to say, maybe the, no, one's, <laughs> no one's read it since. I, well, I'm no, assuming. No, this website I don't know. Is, is new, so. Well, well yeah, mean... the, the website is newer, but. The, <laughs> All right, Brian. I don't I think, know. Uh, I think you're already showing your hand there. Why don't you just tell us your, your opinion? Um, this movie um, should not be a movie. It uh, it really should just be two or three episodes of the show. Um, preferably two episodes because even ninety minutes is too long for what for what what they showed us. Um, it's in the style of, of Batman from from back then, so that's fine. Like I'm not knocking that shit for it, but like it's just just padded and boring and long. Like after about seventy minutes or so, you're just like I'm done, and 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 you just you want it to be over. And they could have made it like like that long. Easily cut out enough stuff so so that like, because repeated too many things over and over again. So um, I'd give it a. I mean, for for today, I'd give it a D. Yeah. Like I'm not really not really feeling it. Uh, it'd be a, like a, a low D, D minus, whatever. But um, to say you saw it, just to have that shared pain, you know, be like, yeah, I saw that too. Ha 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 ha. I don't want to watch it for that reason, but it's a it's a D minus. All right, William. Sure. So I'm of two minds after watching this. One is really agreeing a lot with Brian, where you can almost break this up into three episodes, like the Security Council being turned into something as an episode, the Catwoman plots an episode, and the, you know, trying to find a place for the bomb is an episode. That would be like three solid That's plots. That's so just, just run it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, you know, it'd be like the nuts. climax of the episode. Um, and I want to kind of downgrade it for that so in my head i'm gonna say like a d you know not very uh i don't know it's hard it's hard to explain because the first like hour i had a really really fun time watching it like it was fun making fun of just how ridiculous it is and i think we've said this for some movies like 
um, put it on at a party and it'd be like funny to see in the background and just like point out stupid stuff and laugh at. But then after about an hour of that, like we were all on our phones just cause it was just, we wanted it to be over. Mm-hmm. Like when I was looking up the runtime for this and it was a hundred minutes, I was shocked for being something from like 1966. I was like, oh, maybe it'll only be like 70 or 80 minutes. But I think those last 40 minutes past an hour definitely or when it slowed down and was like, okay, looking at the watch, looking at the phone, <laughs> when is this going to be over? Um, but it was that first hour was super fun. And I first, first no one who had seen it before, I wouldn't recommend watching it by yourself, but maybe get two or three other people who are not seen it or are kind of aware of the whole Adam West thing and just make fun of it together but other than that i can't really recommend it as like a standalone film sort of that's fair tony uh yeah kind of the same uh definitely in the d area wouldn't recommend it um you were talking about watching it at a party if this was more of a party setting that could work because in those slow points you know hopefully we're talking about other things and it'd be cool uh, we were looking at our phones, but we were supposed to be paying attention because that's kind of the point here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just hard not to do other things because it's just so ridiculously boring. So that's no fun. But uh, if you're at a party or talking about other things, maybe having some drinks, that would have definitely helped me get through this. Um, yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't say on average though, that I could recommend this. Uh, if you're a fan of the old show or like this type of thing, you already know probably are aware of it and you know go enjoy it if you'd like but otherwise there are some clips online you can check those out and laugh at him running around with a bomb with his baby ducks we we don't need this so yeah don't don't read this all right joe um i'm gonna recommend everyone see this once uh, and exactly once uh i actually enjoyed watching this essentially by myself um, cause most of the people had left the room by the end, <laughs> but I was, I was transfixed by how batshit crazy this was. And I'm just uh. trying to think of like, how were these decisions made? How did we come to this? You know what? Like, I, I'm just fascinated by like the mindset in the time that could create this. It is awful and it is boring, but it is, I was having a good time trying to understand it. I guess. And I was there with my notebook, just just writing down everything. Cause I'm just like, this is just madhouse. It's all um, gold. It's all gold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that being said, like, is it a good movie? No. Um, it is by no means the worst Batman movie. Cause I will say that the two Schumachers were basically trying to do this and, um, ba- you know, it failed. Um, and <coughs> then like, I would still, I'd take this over Batman Begins because just that the microwave emitter, I, I couldn't. When you take yourself that seriously and then bring that out, it just it hurt a lot. Um, so I would say, you know, it's 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 better than at least three of the other Batman movies. Um, and uh, yeah, I would rec- that's a recommend once. And then, you know, you're, you know, you got to see the shark scene. You got to see the bomb scene. You got to see that poor goon get fired out the window. Uh, and then then you're good. And yeah, I'm gonna hand it off to you, Rob. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually. I'm in agreement with Joe on this one. I am gonna recommend this. Wow. Um, and I think for a couple of reasons. A, when you're not doing a podcast, you can just shut it off if you're tired of it. <laughs> um, but I am gonna recommend people see it one time. Uh, and the thing is, the problem with the movie is essentially that it repeats itself so much that when when you're trying to focus on it and you're seeing the same thing over and over again your brain just can't continue to focus because it's like, I've already seen this. I'm going to go do something else. So this is much better in a like a group environment, like you guys were saying, uh, where you don't necessarily have to pay full attention. You don't, you're not expected to be taking notes. Um, but the, like, like Will said, that first hour is just, it's just crazy bonkers. And I think just that alone is, is worth kind of, kind of suffering through the the end the end portion of it um it's not like it's not a good movie by any stretch but uh it is one of those things that's just crazy enough that you should see it at least one time that's it thanks all right we're, okay where do we rank it superhero summertime we've seen six films oh lordy um, we've seen six not good movies i don't even remember what all right so hold on let's start start the ass and we'll work our way forward so I think we could all agree that Howard the Duck is sitting 
is the caboose, right? What else? What else did we want? Superman four. Oh, yeah. I, I will oh, also yeah. accept that as the caboose. I'm gonna yeah, put Superman four at, at the end because yeah. that was more boring than Howard the Duck to mm-hmm. me. Um, and no duck titties. And no duck. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you just got to see a cool looking creature. None of them duck titties to keep me occupied. Yeah, and, and Howard the Duck. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll put Howard. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to go there. I would put this probably, man. What's that? Yeah, I would put this. Batman the movie, then. I would put this third to, from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would agree um, with that. Uh, then yep. for me, I don't know. I feel like... I would put Fantastic Four next, personally. I feel like Fantastic Four and Blank Man, for me, would be kind of tied for a second. Um, I, would, I would say Fantastic Four was third, but it was like... That was the first of the movies that I'd consider watching again. Yeah. And I mean, for me personally, Mask of Phantasm was first, just because, like yeah. we said during that episode, I have that background with the franchise. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that'd be my ranking. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's, that's pretty much what everyone would say, yeah, right? Yeah. I like, think we're fairly in agreement I mean, me, on that. Like, I would put Blank Man probably ahead only because Blank Man, like, completed. Yeah. It was, it, the, while the ending kind of sucked, it was like, it wasn't just like, they disappeared and they're gone. <laughs> yeah. but It wasn't some executive decision yeah, to like, not let anyone die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get that. What Blank say Man you, Brian? Is, is, my, is my number one. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Number two. Fantastic mm-hmm. four. Number three. Uh, <laughs> number four probably, probably would be Howard the Duck. Uh, five would be um this movie and it's six would be superman four all right cool all right great so uh next week join us for some more superhero summer <laughs> <laughs> no it's over it's <laughs> that's done guys it, it has been like like a superhero like seasonal campaign second half of the you year know? yeah and you know what guys you all are the superheroes i mean really i, I, I want to hear from from my listeners what they're their superhero movies picks w- would be yeah, at, yeah. Well, at just in general or out of the ones that we watch no it's just in general like, oh, okay. like what are some superhero movies that, that you <coughs> like well, that have to be like the, the mainstream ones that we're mm-hmm. seeing now like Avengers or it could be but like you know what's your like offshoot superhero right. movies yeah that sounds yeah. really I'm good I'm glad we didn't do any MCU just to like keep it fresh, fresh. Yeah. 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 yeah although if you want to hear our opinion on some of the MCU you can check out our Patreon page oh. at 4 a.m. or patreon.com slash 4 a.m. podcast but in the meantime, guys, we do want to hear if you have a, if you have a top five superhero movies, please email that to us at the 4 am podcast at gmail.com. We would love to hear your top five superhero stories and maybe we'll uh, read some of those on an episode in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I hear tell a little bird told me that the D20 of Fate is staying in its little cage for <laughs> Thanks, a little while pissed. longer. It was going to come out. It was. It was ready to come out. <laughs> going to come out and wreak havoc on all of us. But then someone farted and he got scared. You know? Yeah. No. It's not afraid of flesh. It's all its shadow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's shadow. I yeah. warn whoever rolls next because that thing's going to be rabid. Well, it's probably going to be you. Gonna be you. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, yeah, it's I, the order. Uh, <laughs> don't blame, uh, don't blame us. Brick sang it. Yeah. So, so uh, we've got a sponsored episode coming up. We do. So, tell us a little bit about the uh, sponsored episode, Joe. Good friend Patrick um, he handed me some money in a clandestine handshake Ooh. and said, Ooh. "I want the Temple of Doom, oh, and I want it now." And it wasn't some sort of sex act. It wasn't. Yeah, I was just gonna say it wasn't a. Bad well, he he got that. He didn't want that. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, the old temple of doom in the yeah. parking lot. <laughs> no, no. He, but he 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 thought long and hard. He had a few different movies he was kicking around, and he decided Temple of Doom would be the best. He really. <laughs> you say, Kali Man, shove your hand up the butt. Yeah. Shot, Dizzy. He wanted to hear the. Indy, cover your heart. To the Jones. To the Jones. To the Jones. <laughs> uh, it's so racist. The whole movie. He was at a, a, a convention I went to. Um, Short round? Yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, I, sh- I hope you... Well, you want to save it for the I episode? hope you tipped him when you left the bathroom. No, no. He, he won like, like <laughs> a <laughs> lot of money for his autograph, and I was yeah. like... Uh, oh, okay. We all saw that movie, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your time has passed. <laughs> that was the convention where I heard Batman laugh. I turned around and it was Kevin Conway laughing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. But that so, will be next time. So next episode, join us for a sponsored episode. Thank you, Patrick, for sponsoring an episode. That's really that's really awesome of you. Uh, we'll be watching Indiana Jones. 
What? Sorry. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. All right, let's just prep. He played, yeah, he played the heart. Yeah, okay. Good job. <laughs> he played the snake that oh, they cut up. Thinking, yeah. uh, all right. Just, all right. <laughs> anyway. No, it's the one with the gobbler. Maybe he'll make an appearance. But in the meantime, guys, I want to thank you so much for listening to our humble little podcast. If you like what you heard, please consider subscribing. For our episode archive, merchandise store, and more information, check out our website at 4ampodcast.podbean.com. You can, of course, contact us by following us on Twitter or Facebook at 4ampodcast, or you can email us at the4ampodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget the the in front of that. And, of course, if you want to support what we do, we certainly appreciate our patrons. We have exclusive patron-only episodes and uh, little, little fun things. Uh, then you can find all of that at patreon.com slash 4am podcast but in the meantime I want to say goodbye have a great day we love you deuces bye um, good night everybody <laughs> hey, hey Rob <laughs> yeah Joe can you uh, maybe sprinkle some of that water on top of me so I could uh, become human again and go home oh sure that's not water not the oh! oh sorry I used the heavy water you want to disappear you want to uh, get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Uh, actually, Adam, I can see your nuts. Why don't you put your utility belt back? <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, bye, everybody. <laughs>